Hello Marvel Sports fans and welcome to the Marvel Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah and I'm here to welcome you to the qualifying for the Melbourne Grand Prix. In this season we will have 12 marbles competing in 8 races all striving to be crowned champion. You may notice that some of these marbles have changed color this season. This is to make for an easier distinction between marbles and to make for a better viewer experience. All of these marbles have been training hard for this season and are ready for race one. But before you can race, you must qualify. The format for the qualifying of this season has been changed to allow for better racing. There will be three qualifying sessions starting with Q1 which will have all 12 marbles racing in a two lap race with the last three marbles being eliminated not making it to the next round and the position in which they finish will determine their starting order for the race. Q2 will be exactly the same as Q1 except for there will only be 9 marbles as 3 marbles have been eliminated. Q3 will be a 4 lap race with the remaining 6 marbles and the order in which they finish will be the starting order for the top 6 marbles in the starting grid of race 1. The people of Melbourne have put together an amazing track to be the host of the race 1 of the Marble Circuits 2022. Some of the features of this track are the drag reduction zone as well as the booster and a long straight. The grandstands are full awaiting the qualifying of the Melbourne Grand Prix. It's a hot summer day here in Australia. Hopefully that doesn't take a toll on any of these marbles for this qualifying. And now the marbles are in the blocks. And away we go for the qualifying of the Melbourne Grand Prix. Up to Booster for the first time and it is Knight Rivers in the lead followed by Loose Wheel and Arrow Frog. As we go down this U-turn for the first time, a Loose Wheel has now taken first place from Knight Rivers being followed by Arrow Frog but Loose Wheel has a trouble on that wall. Now Knight Rivers is in first place being followed by Arrow Frog and Big Dogs. Now for the second lap, which is the final lap. This is a mad dash. Arrow Frog takes the lead by Storm. An amazing move by Arrow Frog, with Knight Rivers now still in second, being followed by Pink Pearl. But right now, all you want to watch is the bottom three marbles, because they are going to be eliminated in this race. And Arrow Frog will be your champion of Q1, but the marbles that will be eliminated are Fast Cupids, Mamonas, and Black Pirates. The Black Pirates will be starting last in the starting grid with Mimonas in 11th and Fast Two Pins in 10th place. And now for Q2, Sea Turtles, Peppers, and Sparky are on the chopping block and we're off. Up the boost for the first time and Big Dog slows tremendously. He is way back in the pack, almost guaranteed an elimination with Gold Piston in first place. Peppers is in second with Arrow Frog in third place being followed by Knight Rivers. Sea Turtles and Loose Wheel are fighting to get out of this elimination zone as we enter the final lap. Pink Pearl fighting to stay in the top six with the Sea Turtles trying to catch back up and Gold Piston is still in the lead. A hit from Arrow Frog to the back which slows Arrow Frog down letting Peppers pass him now putting some pressure on Gold Piston and passes for first place with Sparky now in third. Loose Wheel coming up on Pink Pearl. If he can pass her by the end of the lap, he will not be eliminated. It's a race to the line, but Pink Pearl is able to stay in the top six. Loose Wheel ending up getting seventh with Big Dog in eighth and Sea Turtle in ninth. This will be the starting order for these three marbles in the starting grid for race one. We are down to six marbles for the start of Q3. This will be a four lap race, which will determine the starting order for the top six marbles. Marbles are in the blocks. And away we go. Arrow Frog having a slow start up the booster for the first time. And it is Peppers in the lead, but it's overtaken by Sparky with a quick pass through the drag reduction zone. Peppers now in second with Pink Pearl in third place, being followed by Knight Rivers. With Gold Piston in fifth place with Arrow Frog in sixth. Down the back straight starting the second lap. Peppers trying to catch up to Sparky, but now facing pressure from Knight Rivers, who has overtaken Pink Pearl, who has fallen down to fifth. And Peppers takes first place from Sparky. Sparky trying to take it back, but a good move by Peppers, not letting Sparky pass, with Knight Rivers still trying to catch up. With Arrow Frog in fourth place, now pressuring Knight Rivers through these turns for the starting of the third lap. Peppers is in first place with Sparky in second. Knight Rivers in third place. Arrow Frog fourth. 
Pink Pearl is in fifth, and Gold Piston is in fifth place. Sparky coming up on Peppers now. Night Rivers gives a bump to Sparky, who's now pressuring Peppers. All Peppers has to do is stay in the lead for a little bit more than a lap, and he will be the winner of this qualifying. But Sparky is not making that easy as he almost passes Peppers very close. 0 .004 seconds behind in the line, but Peppers is able to retain first place. And a hit to Night Rivers from behind from Arrowfrog, giving Night Rivers some momentum. Now trying to catch up to Sparky, who takes first place from Peppers in the final lap. Peppers is in second, trying to take back the lead, and he does. And it's a race to the finish. Who will take it? And it is Sparky, who will be the champion of this qualifying. With Peppers in second, Arrowfrog is in third, Night Rivers in fourth. With Pink Pearl in fifth, Gold Piston is in sixth. An amazing finish for Sparky, overtaking Peppers in the last lap. 0.122 seconds ahead of Peppers, which is definitely a close finish with Arrow Frog in third place. And now, for the start of the Melbourne Grand Prix. The marbles are ready, the lights are on. And away we go with Peppers taking the lead right at the beginning of the race. He is back in the lead after losing in the qualifying, but loses it to Gold Piston as the go of the booster for the first time. And now it is Big Dog in the lead. He started in eighth place and now is overtaken by Pink Pearl. And Sparky and Peppers are falling down the order. Big Dog trying to catch up to Pink Pearl with Knight Rivers in third place as the go down the back straight. Pink Pearl, the previous champion, is trying to get a good start to this season. Could she have been holding back in the qualifying to trick the marbles into thinking that she has lost her edge as they go through the drag reduction zone? Gold Piston is now in third place, trying to overtake Big Dog, who is still trying to catch up to Pink Pearl at this moment. He seems to be drafting Pink Pearl through these corners, and he takes first place in the third lap. Pink Pearl is trying to take it back, but it's surpassed by Gold Piston as they go up the booster. Gold Piston trying to catch up to Big Dog, who is extending himself from the rest of the field at this point and doing a good job at it. Knight Rivers has now taken second place, being followed by Gold Piston and now Fast Coup Pins, who is trying to overtake for the podium. But Gold Piston and Knight Rivers are going to make that hard. Or so it seemed, Fast Cube Pins has taken third and second place with Big Dogs nowhere to be seen. Knight Rivers now taking the second place. Great move by Knight Rivers through the booster. We have been seeing a lot of these moves through the booster as he takes first place there. Big Dogs falling down to second. A lot of these moves through the booster have been very beneficial to these marbles. A new element of marble racing that we have not seen before. Gold Piston now back in third place trying to catch up to Big Dog as he does right there trying to draft him but it is not working out. Big Dog able to stay ahead with Knight Rivers extending himself from the rest of the field and now Mamonas is in fourth place being followed by Pink Pearl in fifth place. Gold Piston trying to pass Big Dogs here but isn't able to do it as they go up the booster. Gold Piston is able to pass Big Dogs and Big Dogs takes second place and first place as the other two marbles take the drag reduction zone. A bad move by Knight Rivers and Gold Piston. Big Dogs is now back in the lead. We are now starting the seventh lap as they go down the back straight. Gold Piston losing some ground on Knight Rivers as he's trying to catch up to Big Dog. And he does right there, passing Big Dog, but Big Dog passes him back. A fight for the first place. And Gold Piston has now taken second, trying to catch up to Big Dog. Big Dog seeing some fighting going on behind him, just trying to stay ahead of these two marbles to stay out of any trouble and make it as easy as possible for him to retain the lead. But Gold Piston is trying to make that hard as he gives a bump to the back on Big Dog. Big Dog getting a little bit of momentum from that. Night River is still in third place with Arrow Frog now in fourth place, catching back up after a not so good race so far with Black Pirates in fifth place. He started in the last place on the starting grid, now in fifth place, trying to come and take fourth. A great move by Black Pirates now is in fourth place. Big Dog still facing some pressure from Gold Piston up in the front with Arrow Frog in third place. 
And Gold Piston has a bump on the chicane there, and so it is Arrow Frog. We've had an accident on the track. Arrow Frog is losing ground. The Arrow Frog fans are weeping. The tweets are tweeting at the downfall of Arrow Frog. Gold Piston able to retain his podium spot so far, dealing with the damage that he got from this accident, with Big Dog still in the lead, being followed by Night Rivers. Arrow Frog and Night Rivers pretty far ahead from Gold Piston, who is yet farther ahead from the rest of the field. Arrow Frog a whole second and a half in front of Gold Piston. This is an incredible lead. He has a bump off the wall there, and Night Rivers takes the lead from Big Dogs. Also take a look at Peppers and Sparky. Peppers is in last place, starting in second place. He is definitely not having a good race with Sparky down in eighth, right in front of Arrow Frog. But Arrow Frog is able to take it back, now in seventh place, dealing with the damage of this accident. Night Rivers trying to fend off Big Dogs, but is unsuccessful. Big Dogs is now in the lead with Gold Piston and Black Pirates in the mix. Night Rivers trying to fend off Gold Piston, who doesn't seem to be too affected by the damage at this point as he takes second place and now was drafting Big Dogs, but has a bump off the wall there, now being drafted by Night Rivers. And now gets a boost of speed through the booster, hitting on Big Dogs, and Big Dogs is able to... What happened there? A shove from Night Rivers pushing Gold Piston to the top of the chicane. Is that even legal? Night Rivers definitely benefiting from this move, Definitely a questionable move though, as he is now trying to catch up to Big Dog with Gold Piston in third place. Sparky is now back up in fourth place, fighting with Arrow Frog, who is back up in fifth place, trying to redeem himself in this race. We are on lap 14, two laps to go. Big Dog's in first place, Night Rivers in second, with Gold Piston in third place, drafting Night Rivers here as we start the 15th lap. And a bump from Night Rivers to the behind of Big Dogs as they go up the booster. Gold Piston now pressuring Night Rivers through the drag reduction zone. And another move from Night Rivers to Big Dogs onto the edge of the chicane. Some rough play from Night Rivers in this race. He really wants to take the overall win. With Gold Piston now taking second place from Night Rivers on the start of the final lap. Big Dogs is in first place. Gold Piston is in second. Night Rivers is in third place. Arrow Frog is back up in fourth place. Big Dogs facing some pressure from Night Rivers. All he has to do is stay in the lead for the remainder of the lap, and he will be champion of the Melbourne Grand Prix. As he goes around the final couple of corners, he can see the fans, he can see the line, and Big Dogs will be your champion of the Melbourne Grand Prix. With Knight Rivers in second, and Gold Piston is in third place. A respectable finish for Arrow Frog in fourth place, being involved in that accident with Gold Piston. Both respectable finishes for those two marbles. What an amazing race. The fans are cheering, even the Arrow Frog fans, for the results of this race. Definitely an action-packed race with the efforts that Big Dog put into the offseason paying off, being crowned champion. Congratulations. You were very fast today and dominated the circuit. Yeah! That was amazing, guys. I couldn't have done it without you. Big Dog's very excited for his first win in Marble Circuit's history. Definitely an amazing accomplishment. Especially considering the fact that he started way back in 8th place as we look at some of these replays here. The replay of the start of the race. Peppers taking the lead from Sparky in the first second of the race. Is there a rivalry developing between these two marbles? We'll have to wait and see. Some great moves here right in the first turn. Sparky losing a good 5 places right in the first turn of this race with Gold Piston coming in at first but ultimately it was Big Dog who came out in the lead he did have trouble holding the lead for the entirety of the race but he was able to keep it at the end Night Rivers putting on a good showing as well as Gold Piston in this race both getting on the podium this is one of the few replays of Fasku pins in this race you didn't see much of him in this race but he did have one or two good moves in the front of the field Night Rivers though, battling Big Dog for the entirety of the race as well as Gold Piston. All these three marbles were jostling for position the entire race. 
Gold Piston not being in the lead very much with Big Dogs and Night Rivers keeping that spot. And here's the accident with Gold Piston and Arrow Frog. Gold Piston getting stuck on the track, not even moving for a couple seconds. And then Arrow Frog comes in with too much speed, not able to slow down in time before he crashes into Gold Piston, making him fall down a lot of places. He was able to come back up and get 4th place, definitely an accomplishment as well as for Gold Piston having this accident, gaining some damage in this race. A couple rough moves from Knight Rivers in this race, pushing Gold Piston as well as Big Dogs onto the top of the chicane to gain some speed as well as slow those two marbles down. Some rough play, but ultimately it did work out with him getting 2nd place. Here's a cool trackside view of the marbles. A view that only VIP marbles get to see. It's definitely a cool view. And here are the full results for the Melbourne Grand Prix. Big Dog's getting 25 points plus 1 point for having the fastest lap of this race. If you get the fastest lap of the race, you will be getting a bonus 1 point in this season. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for Race 2 of the Marble Circuits 2022. And of course, congratulations to our three podium finishers, Big Dogs for getting first place, Knight Rivers in second, and Gold Piston in third place. I'm Jeremiah, signing off, and until next time, this has been Quebec's Marble Runs. Welcome back race fans to the Marble Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah, and I'm here to welcome you to the qualifying for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Last time, Sparky stole the lead in the last lap of Q3, sealing his position at the start of the starting gate for race 1. Will he be able to do it again in this qualifying, or will Peppers be able to take some revenge? The Bahrain Grand Prix is a very winding track, with not much time to gain speed before you have to go into the next turn. This will definitely be a challenge for some of the marbles who are better at long straights with fewer turns. We'll have to see how they perform in this race. Black Pirates, Mamonas, and Fast Two Pins had a rough qualifying last race, being the first three marbles to be eliminated in this new format. Hopefully, they'll be able to do better in this qualifying. After the accident last race, Gold Piston and Arrow Frog have been repaired, getting some slight damage, but nothing major that can't be fixed. Hopefully, we won't have any more dangerous crashes in this season. Big Dog sits atop of the standings with 26 points, getting the fastest lap last race, giving him another extra point, with Knight Rivers in second and Gold Piston in third. And now, for Q1, the marbles in the blocks. And away we go for the qualifying of the Bahrain Grand Prix. Up the booster and is Peppers in the lead, being followed by Knight Rivers and Gold Piston through these U-turns for the first time. Knight Rivers takes first place from Peppers, with Gold Piston pressuring Peppers right now but succumbs to Fast Coup Pins, who is now in third place, trying to catch up to Peppers and Knight Rivers as we start the final lap, and Peppers takes first place, and Fast Coup Pins is now in first place. Knight Rivers falls down to third. A great mistake by Knight Rivers, falling down the order. Mamonas, Pink Pearl, and Black Pirates are in the elimination zone, trying to do all they can to get out of this zone before the end of the lap, but it's not going to happen for Black Pirates, that's for sure, but Mamonas and Pink Pearl may have a chance. Peppers takes the win at the last second, and Mamonas gets out of the elimination zone, eliminating Sparky. Last race's pull sitter, he will be eliminated in this qualifying. What a humiliation for him, with Pink Pearl also being eliminated and Black Pirates. And now, for Q2, the marbles are in the blocks, and away we go for Q2. Up the booster for the first time, and it is Knight Rivers out in the lead with Fast Coup Pins and Gold Piston on his tail. Sea Turtles is in fourth place, being pressured by Arrow Frog with Fast Coup Pins still trying to catch up to Knight Rivers, but Knight Rivers has a great boost of speed there, and now he's over a second ahead in front of Fast Coup Pins. And Arrow Frog is trying to catch up to Fast Coup Pins and takes second place and first place from Knight Rivers through the booster. Great move for Arrow Frog. But Knight Rivers is now in second place with Gold Piston is in third. Sea Turtles just getting out of the elimination zone, putting Peppers in the spot with Loose Wheel and Mamona sharing this elimination zone. Frantic to get out of the zone, but it won't happen. Loose Wheel, Peppers, and Mamona will be eliminated in Q2. 
Luis Villa will start on 7th on the starting date with Pepper starting in 8th and Mamonas will start in 9th. Now we have the last 6 marbles to compete for the top 6 spots in a 4 lap qualifying race. Arrow Frog sits on the top with Gold Piston in 2nd, Night Rivers in 3rd place. Fast Two Pins is the only marble that has made it this far and was eliminated in the first elimination of the qualifying for race 1, which is definitely better than last time. And now for Q3. And we're off with Big Dogs taking the lead right at the last second. Now Fast Q Pins is in the lead, being eliminated in the first qualifying. Now he is in the lead with Big Dogs in second. Sea Turtles is in third place, trying to fend off Gold Piston as they go through this U-turn. And Gold Piston takes third place from Sea Turtles. Big Dogs still trying to catch up to Fast Q Pins, who takes the drag reduction zone, but is able to retain the lead with Big Dogs still trying to get on his tail. Sea Turtles has taken back third place as they go through these U-turns once again. Gold Piston trying to catch up to Sea Turtles with Arrow Frog on his tail and Night Rivers is trailing behind. And Gold Piston takes second place from Sea Turtles and Big Dogs takes the lead from Fast Coup who takes the drag reduction zone as they go up the booster. Big Dogs is back in first place. Is Big Dogs being a little bit too overconfident taking the lead in this race after winning last race? Or is he just being an excellent racer? Fast Coup Pins takes first place in lap 3 and Big Dogs takes it right back. Some aggressive racing from Big Dogs and he takes a drag reduction zone which helps him gain some speed as they go up the booster. This is the final lap. Big Dogs is in first place being followed by Fast Coup Pins and Sea Turtles with Night Rivers putting some pressure on Sea Turtles trying to take that podium spot but Sea Turtles is fending him off. Big Dog is still in the lead and he will be champion of Q3 of the Bahrain Grand Prix with Fast Cube Pins in second, Sea Turtles in third place. Big Dogs will be the pole sitter for this race with Fast Cube Pins in second. Definitely some exciting racing in this qualifying, starting with Q1. Sparky getting eliminated, being the pole sitter from last race. What happened in this Q1? He just did not get a good start to this race. And these qualifyings are very short, only two laps. There's not much time to make it up. Peppers though, taking the lead at the last second, being the pole sitter for the Q1. Definitely a good achievement, but he was eliminated in Q2. Also, Black Pirates was eliminated in last place in Q1, just the same as the Q1 from last qualifying. He is not doing well with this new format. Arrow Frog and Gold Piston were both able to make it to Q3 after the accident in Race 1. Their damage has definitely been fixed and they are back on their optimal performance. Definitely good for them. Fast Coupins getting second in the overall qualifying, which is definitely better than his last qualifying. We wish him a good race, as well as Big Dog starting in pole position. Definitely will be good for him. We wish all the best to him as well, with Sea Turtles getting third place. We'll have to watch out for Big Dogs and Fast Coup Pins in this race, as well as for Sparky and Peppers. Will they be able to catch up after this disappointing qualifying? Pink Pearl having a rough season so far, being in ninth place in race one. She'll have to do better if she wants to keep her reputation. It's gonna be hard. Here are the full qualifying results, with Big Dogs in first place being the fastest marble, with Fast Coup Pins in second and Sea Turtles in third place. Sparky falling down to 10th place, definitely a not good qualifying for him, hopefully he'll be able to catch up in this race. If you like this video, welcome back race fans to the Marble Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah and I'm here to welcome you to the Bahrain Grand Prix. Big Dog sits on the pole position after winning the qualifying a few days ago. Being champion of last race, he is trying to make it as easy as possible to take another win. At the back of the starting gate, you have an interesting group of marbles, Black Pirates, getting last place in both of the qualifyings of this season. He's definitely having a hard time with this new qualifying format. And then you have Pink Pearl, last season's overall champion, in 11th place. She's having a hard time with these qualifyings as well. And then you have Sparky, race one champion. He was put into the elimination zone by Mamonas in the last lap of Q1 which is definitely a hard hit for him, with Mamonas getting eliminated in Q2, not making it any farther than 9th. 
Arrow Frog and Gold Piston sit right next to each other on the starting grid. Rumor has it that they are actually becoming friends after the accident in the last race. The Bahrain Grand Prix is a unique track with a very steep booster and a lot of U-turns in succession with not much time to gain speed as we saw in the qualifying, but there are a lot of places that can be used as an overtaking point. As we look at the top-down view, you can really see what type of environment that these marbles have to be going through in this race. Nerves are building, especially for Big Dogs, who sits on pole position. He is under a lot of pressure to perform well in this race to keep the overall lead. But Knight Rivers is sitting in fourth. He is in second in the overall standings. He wants to come and take the lead from Big Dogs. Here are the full results of the qualifying from a couple days ago. Big Dogs on pole position, followed by Fast Food Pins, Sea Turtles, Night Rivers, and Arrow Frog, who will finish off your top five. Just to let everyone know, race three of the Marble Circuits will not be coming out next weekend. They'll be coming out the weekend after that. And now, for race two of the Marble Circuits 2022. The lights are on. And away we go. Fast Food Pins takes the lead right at the beginning of the race, but Big Dogs takes it back. And they go through the drag reduction zone, losing a lot of speed. And now Peppers is in first place, being followed by Knight Rivers and Mamonas as we go through these turns for the first time. Big Pearl is trailing behind in 12th place with Loose Wheel in 11th. Big Dogs has fallen down to 7th with Fast Coup Pins in 8th place. The drag reduction zone spelling disaster for these two marbles. Peppers is extending his lead, being followed by Mamonas and Knight Rivers, who is trying to catch up at this point. A lot of contact right before the booster, and Knight Rivers comes out on top with Mamonas in 2nd. Sea Turtles is in 3rd place, and Peppers has fallen down to 4th, with Knight Rivers now trying to extend his lead. Mamonas still in second place trying to catch up to Knight Rivers but is having a hard time doing it as Knight Rivers is extending himself from the rest of the field. Sea Turtles has taken second place but Mamonas takes it right back and he takes first place from Knight Rivers and Sea Turtles takes first place right before the booster. Knight Rivers has fallen down to fourth with Arrow Frog now in third place. Sea Turtles extending himself from Mamonas here. Mamonas is the second place champion right now, not getting in first place for very long. And Knight Rivers has now taken second place, drafting Sea Turtles, but Sea Turtles is able to get ahead. Mamonas taking second place briefly from Knight Rivers, but enters the drag reduction zone, allowing Knight Rivers to take the second spot. Arrow Frog is pressuring Mamonas for third place at this point, being followed by, who would have guessed, Gold Piston. They are really becoming buds in this race. Mamonas trying to catch up to Sea Turtle at this point, but Sea Turtles is able to pass and take first place from Knight Rivers and take the fast side of the drag reduction zone with the other three marbles taking the other side, allowing him to get a big lead. Knight Rivers is now in second place, being followed by Arrow Frog. Mamonas is now in fourth place, trying to catch up to Arrow Frog at this point. Sea Turtles trying to stay ahead of Knight Rivers as we go into the sixth lap. Knight Rivers trying to catch up and he goes through the drag reduction zone but is able to keep momentum a good move by Knight Rivers. Sea Turtles has a good lead right now and Gold Piston is now in third place being followed by Arrow Frog with the Monas now in fifth place. Big Dogs and Fast Pins are in the last two spot. What happened to these two marbles in this race? They were the top two pole sitters of the starting of the race. Something is definitely wrong with their strategy in this race. Knight Rivers has taken back pole position from Sea Turtles. These two marbles are definitely fighting for the pole position in this race, being followed by Arrow Frog and Gold Piston. They're all in single file around these turns. Knight Rivers sees these three marbles behind him, does not like what he is seeing. Arrow Frog trying to take second place from Sea Turtle and is able to do it. Sea Turtles and Gold Piston take the drag reduction zone. Now Arrow Frog is in second, trying to catch up to Knight Rivers as he is right now. Mamonas has now taken back third place, and Arrow Frog takes first place from Knight Rivers as they go through these two turns. Knight Rivers has lost a lot of momentum. Black Pirates is now in third place, starting in the back of the field in 12th place. He is definitely a comeback king. He did this last race, but if you remember, he got up to the top of the field in the middle of the race and then fell back down and finished in 11th. We'll have to keep an eye on him in this race to see if he is able to stay up in the top of the pack or if he's going to fall back down like he did last race. 
Peppers is now back up in fifth place with Gold Piston in sixth. Arrow Frog extending his lead from Night Rivers. They both take the right side of the drag reduction zone. Ramonas taking third place from Black Pirates, but Black Pirates is able to take it back. Arrow Frog a good three seconds ahead of Black Pirates. Night Rivers close behind. Black Pirates needs to try to close this gap if he wants to get any higher up in the standings. But you have to watch out for Night Rivers and Arrow Frog, two fierce competitors. As Night Rivers takes first place from Arrow Frog there, they both take the drag reduction zone, making them lose a lot of momentum. Black Pirates has an opportunity to catch back up, but where is he? He is back in sixth place. He's falling down the order just like last race. What is happening to Black Pirates in this race? Gold Piston is now in third place, trying to catch up to Arrow Frog who is having a hard time just trying to keep up with Night Rivers at this point. And going through the drag reduction zone is not going to help him that much. Night Rivers now has a huge lead, with Ramonas now taking third place from Gold Piston, trying to catch up to Aerofog. Black Pirates is now in seventh. Bay Dogs and Fast Two Pins are still at the bottom of the standings. This is a terrible race for them. Big Dog's most likely going to lose his lead in the overall standings if he does not make it up by the end of this race. Night Rivers still in the lead, being followed by Aerofog and Mimonas. Gold Piston trying to pass Mimonas for third, but Gold Piston is able to hold him off at this point. With Loose Wheel now in fifth place, haven't seen him much in this season so far. Good for him being in the top five. Can he climb higher in this race? Gold Piston does not want that to happen. He's defending himself from Loose Wheel at this point. Night Rarers still in the lead, being followed by Arrow Frog still. And Loose Wheel takes fourth place from Gold Piston. He is climbing up the ranks. Hopefully, he'll be able to do better in this season. Maybe he just had a rough start last race. Trying to catch up to Mimonos now, but it's going to be hard to do it as these top four marbles are very spaced out at this point. Each of these marbles are over a second apart from each other in this top four. Who will be the first to make a crucial mistake and break this balance? And a hit to Loose Wheel from Pink Pearl through the booster. An aggressive move by Pink Pearl actually giving Loose Wheel some momentum. Maybe he'll be able to use this momentum to catch up to Mimonos and take third place. He is slowly catching up to Mimonas at this point. Mimonas takes the drag reduction zone, but it looks like Loose Wheel does as well. Aerofog is now catching up to Night Rivers. They are neck and neck. Night Rivers does not like this, and now it's gained some more space. Loose Wheel has caught up to Mimonas. Now he's trying to pressure for third place with Mimonas, just trying to keep his ground at this point. Night Rivers doing a fantastic job in this race, holding lead by far for a very long time. Aerofog now pressuring him. And he takes first place from Night Rivers, just as I was saying how good Night Rivers was doing. Night Rivers is furious right now, trying to take back the lead from Aerofrog. Aerofrog having a great time, but he can't have too much fun, or else he might make a mistake. He has to fend off Night Rivers, who is furious and just wants to get back in the lead. They both take the drag reduction zone in a bump by Night Rivers, actually using it to his advantage. Night Rivers is now back in first place. We have two laps to go. We are in lap 18. Mimonas and Loose Wheel still fighting for third place. Loose Wheel, a great deal behind Mimonas at this point though. Night Rivers and Arrow Frog, very far ahead of Mimonas. As we start the final lap, Arrow Frog takes the lead in the final lap from Night Rivers. Where is Night Rivers? He is falling down to second. Arrow Frog using a surprise tactic. Can he keep the lead for the remainder of the race? This would be a steal of a race if he can. Knight Rivers just trying to do all he can to get back in the lead, but it's not looking like it's going to happen. And Arrow Frog will be your champion of the Bahrain Grand Prix. With Knight Rivers coming in at second and a surprise pink pearl in third place, dethroning Mimonas and Loose Wheel. An amazing race today with a steal of a win from Arrow Frog. Big Dog's ending up in 7th, starting in pole position. Not a very good race for him, but better than Fast Two Pins ending up in 12th, starting in 2nd place. A better race for Pink Pearl ending up in 3rd place. Maybe she's finally got her barriers. Wow, you made a sensational race with beautiful overtaking. Congratulations on your first victory at the Marvel Circuits 2022. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very happy now. I didn't expect to have such a special weekend. Thank you to the whole team. Aerofrog sounding very excited after such a steal of a win. We'll definitely have to take a look at that in these replays. Big Dogs having a terrible race as well as Fast Coup pins. 
both ending up in the bottom of the standings with Fast Coupins ending up in last. Starting in second place, what happened in this race? He did try to overtake for the lead right at the beginning of the race, possibly messing up his overall strategy. Both of the top two marbles end up going through the drag reduction zone, putting them in the back of the pack, possibly causing them the overall win of this race. Just goes to show you how important the start of the race is. You have to make sure not to be too aggressive or else you might make a mistake letting other marbles pass you right at the beginning of the race, forcing you to deal with major consequences. Night Rivers doing a fantastic job today, being in the lead unchallenged for most of the race right up until the last lap. You have to remember that you have to stay focused all the way into the last lap even if it looks like there's no possible way that you could lose this race. Because if you lose your focus, all is lost and you will probably lose the race, in this case, to Arrow Frog, who did not lose his focus and was able to take advantage of the mistake that Night Rivers made and steal the win. Amonos also having a good race today, staying in the top 3 for most of the race, but was eventually dethroned by Pink Pearl, who took 3rd place in the last lap. This is another show of loss of focus for some of these marbles, who were alone so long in the race that they kind of forgot that they were racing. The peace and quiet of dominating the race up in the front can be distracting and you have to keep your edge or else you won't be able to stay in the lead for very long. As we saw for Night Rivers and Mimonos, Night Rivers did end up getting the fastest lap in this race on the second lap of the race and from that point on he was for the most part in the lead. Here is the point where Arrow Frog takes the lead in the last lap. It looks like Knight Rivers went up on the chicane, making his turn radius longer, which ultimately allowed Arrow Frog to take the lead. It's wins like these that keep these marbles going. Definitely an amazing race here at Bar River. Here are the full race results with Arrow Frog in first place, Knight Rivers in second, Pink Pearl is in third place. Pink Pearl had the highest number of gain spots compared to her starting position. Fast Coupins having the highest number of lost spots, having 10 lost spots starting in second, finishing in last. And here are the full standings. Arrow Frog in first place being followed by Knight Rivers and Big Dogs. Big Dogs being dethroned, having 30 points, with the top two marbles being tied for first with 37. Ties are broken by the number of victories the marbles have. In this case, will be Arrow Frog. Congratulations to Arrow Frog for getting first place, Night Rivers in second, and Pink Pearl in third place. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for race three. Of the this video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Hello, Marvel Sports fans, we are back. I'm Jeremiah, here to welcome you to the qualifying for the Shanghai Grand Prix. News has surfaced that Black Pirates has fired his coach and pit crew after two devastating races and qualifyings. He got last place in both of the previous qualifyings, and in the actual races, he would get up in the top of the field in the middle of the race, and then he would fall back down to the bottom in both races. He has definitely had a hard time in this season. We wish all the best to him in this race with a fresh pit crew and coach. We'll have to see how he does in this race. As we take a look at the track here, this is a very different track compared to the one in Bahrain. It's a lot more long straights than all to gain speed in. It also has a very sharp corner that we have not seen yet in this season. Will definitely be a challenge for some of these marbles in this race. You can see Black Pirates coach giving him some last minute pointers for this ball fight which has definitely been a big change for a lot of these marbles in this season. Some marbles thriving in it, and some marbles not. Here are the full standings. Bell Frog sits in first place, 37 points. Night Rivers is in second, with Big Dogs in third place. Night Rivers has gotten second twice in a row. Maybe this race will finally be his time. And now, the marbles are in the blocks. And away we go for 2-1 of the Shanghai Grand Prix. Up to Pusa for the first time, and it is Knight Rivers in the lead with Gold Piston in second. Black Pirates is in third place, now is in second. He is thriving in this first lap. He is now in first place, doing a tremendous job at this point. 
Is his new crew helping him out in this race? We'll have to wait and see because it is stamina that he has some trouble with. With Cold Piston now coming in as second, Night Rivers is in third place. As they go up to Booster for the second and final lap, now we have to start watching the back of the field. Pink Pearl, Loose Wheel, and Fast Q Pins are in the elimination zone. They're doing all they can to get out of this zone, but it is very hard, especially in this mad dash of a qualifying. Black Pirates has sealed his position in at least Q2. We'll have to see if he can hold out to get into Q3. With Gold Piston in second, Sparky gets third place. And the marbles that will be eliminated are Pink Pearl, Mamonas, and Fast Two Pins. Fast Two Pins having another terrible qualifying. Maybe he needs to follow in the footsteps of Black Pirates. And now, for Q2, marbles are in the blocks. And away we go. Loose wheel out in the lead. But again, it is Black Pirates in the lead. He has become a front runner in this qualifying with Sea Turtles now in second briefly. But Loose Wheel takes it back as they go through these few turns here. Black Pirates is facing some pressure from Loose Wheel as they go through this sharp corner. And Loose Wheel takes it to his advantage. Takes first for a second. But Black Pirates has taken it back with Night Rivers in third place. Big Dogs and Arrow Frog are in the bottom two spots in the elimination zone. The two champions of the last two races, they need to get out of this zone if they want to have a chance of a good starting position for this race. We are in the final lap. Black Pirates is still in the lead. Will Loose Wheel be able to take it in this sharp corner? No. And Arrow Frog has gotten out of the elimination zone right now. Can he stay out for the remainder of the lap? Big Dog is on his tail, but Big Dog isn't able to do it. Arrow Frog stays in, and Big Dog is eliminated, as well as Sparky and Sea Turtles, who will start in 9th, 8th, and 7th. And now, for Q3, the marbles are in the blocks. Four laps, and away we go. Black Pirates has a trouble at the beginning of the race. He is back in last place with Arrow Frog in first battling Night Rivers. Two rivals from last race and a bump from Night Rivers onto the chicane. A familiar move from last race as well. Arrow Frog is trying to come back and he does take first place through that very sharp corner with Loose Wheel in third place. Peppers is in fourth place being followed by Gold Piston and Black Pirates. Black Pirates really needs to step up his game. He has so far, but if he wants to be in pole position, he's going to have to do better than this. Night Rivers is now pressuring Arrow Frog and Loose Wheel is in the mix as well. Night Rivers has now taken first place from Arrow Frog as they go through this U-turn. Black Pirates is still in the back of the pack. And now he is back up in fourth place, trying to catch up to Loose Wheel now. Night Rivers trying to extend himself for the third lap. Arrow Frog goes through the drag reduction zone as they go up the booster. Loose Wheel trying to catch up to Arrow Frog, and they are fighting for first place. Arrow Frog has taken back first place. Arrow Frog and Night Rivers are really rising as some of the top competitors in this season. With Night Rivers having a very consistent season so far, getting two second places in a row. Arrow Frog getting one victory and one third place. These are definitely two great racers. As we start the final lap of this qualifying, Arrow Frog is still in first place, being followed by Night Rivers and Loose Wheel, who can't seem to get out of third place. Black Pirates is down in fifth following Peppers, and Loose Wheel takes second place from Night Rivers in the final lap. Night Rivers trying to take it back. Arrow Frog is still in first place as they go through this sharp corner. Two more corners to go, and Arrow Frog will be the champion of this qualifying, and he will. Arrow Frog will be the champion of this qualifying with Loose Wheel in second, and Night Rivers is in third place. Peppers gets fourth, Pirates is in fifth, and Gold Piston gets sixth place. Definitely a great showing for Black Pirates in this qualifying, getting fifth place, getting last place in the previous two qualifying. Certainly an accomplishment for him. Let's take a look at some of these replays to see what allowed him to get so far in this qualifying after having such a terrible two qualifyings before. Right off the bat, he got in the front of the pack and then tried to extend himself from the rest of the field. That is what you want to do in these qualifying because there are so few laps. There's not much time to get back up in the front if you are not already there. Arrow Frog did show that it is possible to sneak out of the elimination zone and take the overall victory. But it is a very hard thing to do, and he definitely has some skill in that area. Big Dog almost passed Arrow Frog at the line. If he had so, he would have gotten out of the elimination zone. Now let's take a look at Q3. By now, the other marbles had figured out what Black Pirates is trying to do, and then they foiled it, bringing him to last place right at the start of the race. Four laps is more time to get back up in the front, but still not very much. 
Aerofrog and Night Rivers battling for most of Q3 for pole position with Loose Wheel in third place for most of the race. There's that shove from Night Rivers pushing Aerofrog onto the chicane. Aerofrog eventually did take revenge and was able to take first place from Night Rivers, who fell down to third after Loose Wheel takes second in the final lap. I know there's a lot of Black Pirates fans out there who are happy with this result. The hiring of a new coach and pit crew definitely is paying off. We'll have to see how he does in the actual race to be for sure. But for now, things are looking up. Here are the full results. Aero Frog being the fastest marble getting to sit on pole position for race 3. With Loose Wheel in 2nd, Night Rivers is in 3rd place, Peppers gets 4th, and Black Pirates rounds off the top 5. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Welcome back, race fans, to the Marvel Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah, here to welcome you to the Shanghai Grand Prix. In the qualifying, we saw a revival of Black Pirates getting 5th place, the first time that he has not qualified last in this season, coincidentally, after he hired a new pit crew. Maybe he'll have a comeback in this race. The Fubeka team has decided to implement a new technique to the drag reduction zone. In this race, the drag reduction zone will be disabled for the first lap. This is to make sure that the pole sitters do not lose out on their pole position right at the beginning of the race when they are not up to full speed. Then the DRS will be activated on lap 2 for the remainder of the race. Sitting on pole position is Aerofrog, who will definitely appreciate this new ruling, as well as Loose Wheel in 2nd and Night Rivers in 3rd. The left side of the starting position is what is most affected by the drag reduction zone. Those marbles are going to be the ones that are most appreciative of this ruling. Here are the full results from the qualifying. Aerofrog sits on top with Loose Wheel in second. Night Rivers is in third place. Aerofrog, the champion of last race, will be starting on pole position for this race, making it as easy as possible for him to be able to try to win this race as well. Night Rivers sitting directly behind Aerofrog. Having two second places, he is hungry for victory in this race. Will he be able to take the win? We'll have to wait and see. Here are the full standings. Aerofrog sits on top for 37 points. Night Rivers is in second and Big Dogs is in third place. All Night Rivers has to do to take the lead is get higher than Aerofrog in this race and he'll be able to take the overall lead. And now, the marbles are ready, the lights are on. And they're off for the start of the Shanghai Grand Prix. Aerofrog still in the lead, being followed by Loose Wheel, and Sparky takes the lead up the booster for the first time, and it is now Loose Wheel in first place. Aerofrog is in second, with Sparky trying to battle it out for second place. Aerofrog trying to catch up to Loose Wheel at this point as we go through this U-turn, with Sparky still giving pressures to Aerofrog. And look at Knight Rivers, all the way down in 11th already. He has had a downfall in this race. And the DRS is now activated. Loose Wheel takes it, losing some speed, allowing Sparky to catch back up as well as Aerofrog. Now Aerofrog has taken second place, setting his sights on Loose Wheel. Drafting him at this point, and he takes first place. Loose Wheel is now in second, and Peppers has taken third place from Sparky. Now trying to catch up to Loose Wheel. Black Pirate still in fifth place. He's not gained any ground, but he has not lost any. We'll have to see how he does in the rest of this race. And Peppers takes first place, but Aerofrog takes it right back. Loose Wheel is now in third as they go up the booster. Aerofrog still trying to extend its lead from Peppers at this point, with the rest of the field being far behind from the top three marbles being led by Sparky and Black Pirates. Black Pirates now putting up a charge, and he is now in fourth place, passing Sparky. Aerofrog already has a huge lead at the start of the fourth lap. Peppers trying to make that lead smaller, but is having a hard time doing it. Loose Wheel in third place. Black Pirates trying to catch up to him. And Night Rivers gains one spot over Fast Two Pins. He has to really try hard to get up in the top of the field if he wants to be able to take this win. It's not looking good for him. He still has 11 laps to go, but it's going to be difficult. Black Pirates putting some pressure on Loose Wheel as you go through this turn and Black Pirates takes third place but Loose Wheel takes it right back and now Sparky is in the mix as they go on the right side of the drag reduction zone Sparky is able to come out on top and Black Pirates is in still fourth place. 
trying to climb ever so slightly up the table. The Sparky is making that hard. Aerofrog up in the piece and quiet at the front. He's doing a tremendous job at this point, but it's only the fifth lap. It's going to be really hard to the front run for the entirety of the race with all these other marbles trying to catch up to him. Black Pirates facing some pressure from Sparky up the booster. He is holding him off, but Sparky is able to take it as well as loose wheel. Black Pirates has fallen down to fifth. Sparky trying to catch up to Peppers as he is doing right now. He is neck and neck with Peppers. Peppers is trying to hold him off as they go through these turns here. Sparky is drafting Peppers through this back straight for the start of the seventh lap. Peppers trying to hold him off. And Arrow Frog goes through the drag reduction zone, losing a lot of speed. But he got right back up to the booster and gained it all back. With Peppers now facing some pressure from Loose Wheel, who is in third place, being followed by Sparky and Black Pirates. Hero Frog is really separating himself from the rest of the field, doing a good job at it. And Loose Wheel takes second place with Black Pirates in third. Peppers has fallen down to fourth. Arrow Frog seeing some fighting behind him, and he goes through the drag reduction zone yet again, losing some ground, and Black Pirates has taken first place. Black Pirates is in the lead. As we enter the second half of this race, Arrow Frog has been dethroned, and he gets stuck on the track, and he gets bumped up by Momonos and Knight Rivers, and he has fallen down to sixth. What a downfall for Arrow Frog yet again, if you remember race one. Black Pirates is still in first place, Loose Wheel is in second, and Pink Pearl is in third place, being followed by Sparky and Peppers. And Knight Rivers is in sixth place of the booster, now he is in fourth. Coming back up from 11th, he is having a comeback in this race. He definitely wants to take the overall win. Pink Pearl facing some pressures from Peppers, and Peppers takes third place. Loose Wheel trying to stay ahead of Black Pirates. He was trying to take his first win of the season after doing such a terrible job in the qualifying. And he loses two places. And Knight Rivers is now in second place. An unbelievable comeback by Knight Rivers. But he is overtaken by Peppers. Black Pirates is sandwiched between two big names in this league. Knight Rivers in the front and Arrow Frog in the back. And now Big Dogs has taken fourth place. Now trying to set his sights on Knight Rivers who has just taken second place from Peppers. Now setting his sights on Loose Wheel. Loose Wheel sees Knight Rivers behind him and is not liking what he sees. And Knight Rivers takes the drag reduction zone, allowing Peppers to take second place. Now setting his sights on Loose Wheel, catching up to Loose Wheel at this point. And he takes first place from Loose Wheel by Storm. He is trying to take it back and he is having some trouble, but he's able to catch back up to Peppers, but is not able to make any passes. Black Pirates is in third place, being followed by Knight Rivers. Knight Rivers is trying to pressure Black Pirates and pass him, but is having some trouble. Loose Wheel is now pressuring Peppers through the booster, and he takes first place from Peppers, and Black Pirates takes second place. Peppers has fallen down to third, being pressured by Pink Pearl, and Pink Pearl takes third place. Big Dogs, Knight Rivers, and Arrow Frog are having some trouble in this race, being in fifth, sixth, and seventh. They really need to catch up if they want to be able to take this win. Pink Pearl now putting some pressure on Black Pirates. Black Pirates is defending himself well though as they go up the booster. This is the 13th lap, only two more laps to go with Loose Wheel in the lead being followed by Black Pirates and Pink Pearl. And Knight Rivers has now taken back fourth place, now trying to catch up to Pink Pearl who is pretty far ahead at this point. And Pink Pearl takes second place from Black Pirates, now trying to catch up to Loose Wheel. Black Pirates is now in third place. As they go down the back straight, Loose Wheel takes the right side of the drag reduction zone and Pink Pearl does not, losing some speed with Black Pirate trying to catch back up to her. Doing a good job at it, he is catching up to Pink Pearl at this point and takes second place. With Big Dogs now pressuring Pink Pearl, Pink Pearl trying to catch back up to Black Pirates and Loose Wheel is just watching them fight at this point. He's about to start the final lap. Loose Wheel is in first place, being followed by Pink Pearl and then Black Pirates. Big Dogs is in fourth place. Knight Rivers is in fifth place. Will Knight Rivers be able to catch back up? It's not looking like it as Arrow Frog overtakes him. Pink Pearl trying to catch up to Loose Wheel in this last lap, as well as Black Pirates trying to take at least second place, but he's facing some pressure from Big Dogs. And it's not looking like Loose Wheel will be dethroned. He's going around the final corner with nobody behind him. And he will be champion.
of race three of the Marble Circus 2022 at the Shanghai Grand Prix. The Pink Pearl in second and Black Pirates gets an amazing third place finish. He's definitely redeemed himself in this race with Big Dogs in fourth place and last champion Aerofrog in fifth place. Night Earth has fallen down to seventh, breaking his streak of podiums. Sparky somehow ending up in 12th after being in the top five. Something definitely went wrong for him. Amazing. We managed to surprise the opponents with our strategy. Congratulations. Wow, I can't believe we got this victory this weekend. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Loose Wheel is definitely excited for this win. His strategy of holding out until the second half of the race definitely paying off. Let's take a look at the replays. You can see Loose Wheel starting in second, Arrow Frog starting in first. Arrow Frog definitely had some trouble. He was the leader for the first half of the race, but then fell down in the second half, even getting stuck on the track momentarily, which definitely caused his downfall. Loose Wheel having a good showing today. He was actually not in the top three for the entire race. Knight Rivers not having a very good race today, falling down to 11th within the first couple laps. Something definitely went wrong for him in this race, but he was able to catch back up even to second, but he ended up falling back down to seventh. You can see at this point in the race, Big Dogs was in last place, and then he ended up finishing overall in fourth. Definitely a great comeback for him as well, getting one win and now getting a fourth. You can see here Sparky in fifth place, pressuring fourth, third place even, early in the race, and then something went wrong in the race, causing him to get back down all the way to last place. Definitely a humiliating defeat for him, but sometimes it just happens. Black Pirates had an amazing race today, getting third place after having two terrible races. He is definitely doing a lot better with this new pit crew that he has hired. As you can see, the accident that we had with Arrow Frog getting stuck for at least a second or two before being hit by some other marbles like Night Rivers and Mamonas, who did actually lose some speed because of this accident. You can see this line of marbles drafting here, not a common sight in marble racing, but you can see that it is possible. Peppers did hold the lead for some of the second half of the race, but he did end up getting 8th place. Something went wrong for him as well in this race. This is definitely a complicated track for some of these marbles. As you can see here, Black Pirates going through the outside to pass Peppers in that lap. And now it is time to look at the full standing to see how this race affects the overall points. We still getting first place, Pink Pearl in second. Black Pirates is in third place. Big Dogs having the fastest lap, getting a bonus point with a time of 24.596, which was the fastest lap of this race. So an extra point for him. Here are the full standings. Aerofog is still in first place. Big Dogs has taken second place from Night Rivers, even though they are tied because he has one victory. Night Rivers failing to get higher than Aerofrog. Had he done that, he would have been in first place, but he did not. Black Pirates climbing up to 7th place after being 11th place in the overall standings before this race because of his podium finish. Definitely a good standing for him. He's going to have to work hard if he wants to climb up the tables anymore. Congratulations to Loose Wheel for getting 1st place, Pink Pearl in 2nd, and Black Pirates. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Hello Marble Sports fans, welcome to Italy for the qualifying of the Monza Grand Prix. I'm Jeremiah, glad to be here for the next installment of the Marble Circuits 2022. The marbles are ready to race for the prize of sitting in the coveted pole position. Each marble needs to put their best performance forward for this race. This qualifying format is really a mad dash, so if you want to advance, you have to make sure to get in the lead as quickly as possible. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the second half of the Marble Circuits 2022. Let's take a look at the track we have here today in Monza. Some of the features of this track are a lot of hairpins, as well as the first overlap in the track we have in this season. So the marbles will have a clear view of the marbles that are ahead of them down below.
Once again, you can see the Marbles making last minute preparations before this race. Black Pirate talking with his new crew chief once again, with Fast Cube Pins choosing not to follow in his footsteps, keeping his old pit crew. Here are the full standings. You can see how hiring a new pit crew and crew chief has bumped up Black Pirate's performance tremendously, bumping him from 11th in the overall standings up to 7th. And now, for Q1, the Marbles are in the blocks. And away we go. Pink Pearl getting the lead, but it is Mamonas off to the good start. Pink Pearl coming in at second, and Black Pirates is in third place, being followed by Sparky. A hard hit from Sparky there, which brings Black Pirates down to third. Mamonas still fighting off Pink Pearl there, but he succumbs to her. Pink Pearl is now in first place, being followed by Mamonas and Black Pirates as we are about to start the second and final lap. And now it's time to start looking at the bottom of the field. Loose Wheel is in 10th place, being the champion of last race. He is in the elimination zone with Fast Pins and Arrow Frog, the race's champion before that. So they really need to try hard if they want to get out of the elimination zone. Black Pirates has now taken second place, trying to pressure Pink Pearl. And Sparky is now in third place, but he was overcome by Gold Piston. And now he takes it back again. Pink Pearl has secured her spot in Q2 at least, with Fast Q Pins, Arrow Frog, and Loose Wheel trailing behind. They only have a couple more seconds to get out of the zone, and it won't happen. Fast Q Pins will start in 10th on the starting grid, Arrow Frog in 11th, and Loose Wheel in 12th. Two of the champions of the three races so far in this series are in the bottom two spots of this race. What happened in this race for these two marbles? And now, for Q2. And we're off. And once again, it is Mamonas in the lead, being followed by Peppers and Sea Turtles this time. And Sea Turtles goes through the inside. Sea Turtles is now in first place, being followed by Gold Piston and Peppers. Black Pirates is in fourth, facing some pressure from Pink Pearl, who has not had a very good season so far. She sits in fifth in the overall standings. She's just trying to make that higher. Sea Turtles having a good lead so far, not having a good season either. As we start the final lap, Gold Piston has now taken first place over Sea Turtles through the drag reduction zone they go with Sparky, Night Rivers, and Big Dogs in the elimination zone. Big Dogs being champion of race one of this series with Night Rivers being in second multiple times. Sparky is defending off these two big names and trying to get out of the elimination zone, but Pink Pearl is ahead of him. It's going to be hard to be able to pass her with Gold Piston coming around these final couple of corners and he will definitely be advancing to the next round. But the marbles that will be eliminated are Sparky, Big Dogs, and Night Rivers. Big Dogs getting one more place over Night Rivers, but he is still eliminated in this qualifying. And now for Q3, six marbles, four laps, one champion. And they're off up the booster for the first time, and it is Black Pirates in the lead, but he is overcome by Sea Turtles, who is now extending his lead with Pink Pearl in third place. Black Pirates giving some pressures to Sea Turtles, a good move by Sea Turtles there, now taking the lead even farther with Pink Pearl showing some pressure to Black Pirates. All these marbles are really fighting for position at this point. If you make one wrong move, the other marbles will capitalize on it. Like that one right there, Gold Piston is now in third and second place, hitting Black Pirates over the chicane up the booster for the second lap. And Black Pirates is now back in second place. Gold Piston has fallen back down to fourth. And Black Pirates has taken first place from Sea Turtles, who has fallen down to third place, being surpassed by Pink Pearl, and now is giving some pressure back to her as she is trying to take first place. And it is a three marble switch. Sea Turtles is now back in first place with Pink Pearl in second, and Gold Piston has now taken third place. Black Pirates has fallen down to fourth with Mimonas and Peppers way back in the pack as we go up the booster for the third lap. Gold Piston has now taken first place, being followed by Sea Turtles and Black Pirates with Pink Pearl in fourth place. Gold Piston has created a huge lead in this lap. Is this a change of strategy from Gold Piston? We'll have to wait and see in the actual race, but it is Sea Turtles defending himself from Black Pirates and Pink Pearl, who has just passed Black Pirates there, now pressuring for second place. And she takes it there. Now coming into the final lap, Gold Piston is in first place, being followed by Pink Pearl and Sea Turtles. But now it is Black Pirates in third place. 
Pink Pearl has to catch up to Gold Piston by the end of the lap if she wants to be able to hold pole position, but it's going to be hard to do it as Gold Piston is so far ahead with Sea Turtles in third place, being pressured by Black Pirates, who wants to be in the top three. Gold Piston coming around the final corner, and it's Pink Pearl coming in at the last second. It is very close. But it's Gold Piston with the lead. With Pink Pearl in second, Sea Turtles is in third. Pink Pearl only .012 seconds behind Gold Piston. That is a close finish. Black Pirates getting fourth place. Mamonas is in fifth with Peppers in sixth place. What a crazy finish. It was a sprint to the line. Pink Pearl almost stole it. Let's look at this replay here. And it is Gold Piston. But it was very close. Pink Pearl was actually able to pass Gold Piston after the line. But that's not what counts. It has to be before the line if you want it to count in the overall standings. Let's take a look at some of these replays. Most of the big names in this season were eliminated in Q1 and Q2. A surprising finish for a lot of these marbles. With some of the big names from last season like Pink Pearl and Sea Turtles getting all the way to Q3. Pink Pearl almost taking the win, which she has not had a very good season so far, so that is very surprising. Has she changed her strategy in this race? Fast Q Pins getting eliminated yet again in Q1. He's having a very difficult time communicating with his crew chief and pit crew. Here is the finish of Q1. Black Pirates coming in at second, with Sparky in third place. You can kind of see some of the strategies or misfortunes of some of this marbles, as with Fascu Pins and Arrow Frog, as well as Loose Wheel. They did not have a good first race in this qualifying. As we go on to Q3, Black Pirates coming in at the lead at the beginning, but was immediately surpassed by Sea Turtles. Mamonas and Peppers never really got out of the bottom three marbles for the entirety of Q3, having a lot of trouble even just keeping up with the top three marbles, actually lagging behind in the second half of the race. Our congrats today go to Gold Piston, who sits in the coveted pole position for the race on Sunday. Pink Pearl close behind in second, with Sea Turtles in third place. Here's the point in the race where Gold Piston takes second and first through that first corner. Definitely a great move as Sea Turtles had just gone up on the side of the chicane. Here's Pink Pearl and Black Pirates coming after Sea Turtles. Pink Pearl did take second place from Sea Turtles and almost took first place from Gold Piston. But she was so far ahead it was hard to be able to do it in the time that she had. She gave it her all right at the end of the race. Wasn't able to do it. Maybe next time Pink Pearl, we're all waiting. Race 4 here in Moza will definitely be a race of the seasons. Who will prevail on top? The Season 1 big names Sea Turtles and Pink Pearl, or the Season 2 big names Arrow Frog and Night Rivers? Here are the full results. Gold Piston in 1st place, Pink Pearl in 2nd, Sea Turtles 3rd, Black Pirates is in 4th with Mimona. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12 month subscription. As we enter the midway point of this season, the top marbles are setting themselves apart from the rest of the pack. I'm Jeremiah and I'll be your host today here at the Monza Grand Prix. Gold Piston sits on pole position after a sprint to the line in the qualifying, Pink Pearl only losing out by 12 thousandths of a second. Can she make it up in this race? We'll have to wait and find out. Some of the marbles that have been doing well in this season were eliminated early on in the qualifying, being put in the back of the pack for the starting grid. Some of those marbles are including Night Rivers and Arrow Frog, as well as Big Dogs and Loose Wheel. Some of the winners of the last couple races, they have not had a good qualifying for the start of this race. Gold Piston sits in 6th in the overall standings, being 16 points behind Arrow Frog, who is all the way down in 11th. And all the other marbles that have a chance of taking the overall lead are in the bottom of the field as well, the closest marble being Pink Pearl in 5th in the overall standings, starting in 2nd on the starting grid. Here you can see the full qualifying results. Sea Turtle sits in 3rd place with Black Pirates in 4th, another great finish for Black Pirates in the qualifying, his crew chief being the major one to thank. The marbles are set and ready to start rolling in race 4 here in Monza, all striving to be champion, but only one will really get that title. 
Here are the standings as of now. Arrow Frog sits in first, being followed by Big Dogs, Night Rivers, Loose Wheel, and Pink Pearl, who will round off your top five. And now, for race four of the Marble Circuits 2022. The lights are on, the marbles are ready. And we're off for the start of the Monza Grand Prix. Gold Piston in the lead, but hits the divider line of the drag reduction zone, falling down a lot of places, bringing Peppers to first place. And now Pink Pearl has taken the lead. As we go through this hairpin, Gold Piston is in second, being followed by Black Pirates as we start the first lap. Pink Pearl has gotten two podiums so far this season and is still striving for a win. She got five podiums in season one and four of those were race wins so she has some catching up to do if she wants to do better than last season as we start the second lap. The drag reduction zone has now been activated allowing some marbles to pass other marbles if needed. Pink Pearl being pressured by Gold Piston in this lap and a bump from Gold Piston from behind but nothing yet. He is drafting Pink Pearl at this point and Pink Pearl has some momentum there. Sparky has now taken third place from Black Pirates as well as Big Dogs who is now in fourth place as we go down this back straight and he is pressuring Sparky and does take it as well as Loose Wheel who is now in sixth place. Pink Pearl is still extending her lead from the rest of the field at this point. The last couple races she has had the greatest number of gains from starting position. Both in race 2 and race 3 she gained 8 positions from where she started. But Gold Piston is a different story not gaining or losing any places in the last 2 races ending up in 6 in both races. And Gold Piston takes the drag reduction zone and Big Dogs has now taken second place as they go up the booster and Gold Piston now takes it back. Pink Pearl is way up in the lead. She has no trouble with any of the other marbles behind her at this point. It's still possible for her to take the overall championship as she did last season as Big Dogs takes second place from Gold Piston there. The overall points leader, Arrow Frog, is down in last place. He actually lost a place from his overall starting position. He is having a terrible race. Big Dogs in second place is doing a good job right now, starting in eighth place in the starting grid, having a good comeback at this point. Not so much for Knight Rivers, who has only made it one spot. And of course, for Arrow Frog, who is down in 12th, Loose Wheel is up there in 4th place. He was in the bottom of the standings as well, and he's doing good at this point. Gold Piston coming up behind Big Dogs at this point, but hard hit on the corner, and he loses some momentum as they go up the booster, and he's trying to catch back up to Big Dogs there, but, but Big Dogs is holding him off. Pink Burl is nowhere to be seen way up in the front. She's doing a tremendous job in this race so far. She really wants a win here in race 4. Black Pirates is down in 7th place. He is having some trouble in this race, but he does pass Loose Wheel there. And now he's up in 4th place. The Time Tower had just not updated quite yet as we start lap 7. Not much action up at the front. Pink Pearl still in 1st place, pretty far ahead of Big Dogs. She's using the thoughts of victory from last season as a motivation to keep on going and keep focus. With Big Dogs coming in at second, wanting to be the second marble to ever be crowned champion of the marble circuits. With Black Pirates in third place, trying to make a comeback in the standings, he's in seventh right now. Can he make that even better in this race? Gold Piston is falling down the order. Peppers is now pressuring him to go through these turns here, but nothing's happening. This track seems to cater well to marbles who want to get out in the front and stay in the front for the majority of the race as of Pink Pearl at this point. We are in the 8th lap halfway through the race and no one has challenged Pink Pearl outside of the first lap. Big Dogs is trying to catch up to Pink Pearl and at least challenge her for the lead but it's going to be very hard to do it as Pink Pearl is very far ahead. Black Pirates facing some pressure from Gold Piston there, but Gold Piston falls back and loses out to Peppers, who is now in 4th place. Aerofrog has gotten out of last place, putting Fast Two Pins in that spot, who seems to be there quite often in this series, which is not a very good place to be. Pink Pearl 
is a whole five and a half seconds almost ahead of Big Dogs, who is in second place. That is a commanding lead. Gold Piston has now taken third place and now is trying to catch up to Big Dogs at this point as they go through these hairpins. Big Dog is still defending himself. You can see Pink Pearl passing the line way before any of the other marbles even get there. They still have a couple of turns to go by the time that she has already passed the line. And she has already gone up the booster. She is not even in the shot. As the rest of the marbles go through the booster, great move by Gold Piston there, going past Loose Wheel, taking back third place, and now setting the sights on Big Dogs. As you can see, Pink Pearl is three turns ahead from the rest of the field. Every lap, it's getting harder and harder for the rest of the marbles to catch up if they want to be able to dethrone her. They only have five more laps to do so. As they go down the back straight, Big Dogs takes the drag reduction zone as well as Loose Wheel, but Loose Wheel is able to come out and take the lead from Gold Piston as Big Dogs has fallen down to fourth place, being followed by Black Pirates. As you can see, Arrow Frog and Fast Pins crossing that upper section of the track as these rest of these marbles go through the bottom. They are very far behind, especially from Pink Pearl. Arrow Frog is definitely not winning this race. Loose Wheel has cut about a second off of Pink Pearl, now four and a half seconds behind Pink Pearl. You can see them crossing each other right there. They can see each other, but they're so close yet so far. All the top three or four marbles are spaced pretty far apart. It's going to be hard for them to catch up to each other, and they only have a couple more laps to do so before Pink Pearl becomes champion. Loose Wheel has to do all he can to try to catch up to her at this point. But Pink Pearl is already coming up the booster as he is going down the, through the drag reduction zone. Gold Piston making some ground on Loose Wheel at this point, and he is neck and neck with Loose Wheel, but Loose Wheel is trying to hold him off, and he does right there. Gold Piston loses some momentum through these hairpins, and he is put back in his place with Loose Wheel trying to do everything he can to conserve energy. Black Pirates down in fourth. He is having a hard time in this race, being so spaced out from the rest of the marbles. Gold Piston takes the drag reduction zone there, and Black Pirates is able to catch up. He is on Gold Piston's tail, but Gold Piston is able to stay ahead. Big Dogs is down in fifth place, being followed by Night Rivers, who is up in sixth place, and Arrow Frog is up in ninth. He has gained a couple spots. Will he be able to catch up by the end of the race? Probably not. Will Knight Rivers? Probably not. Loose Wheel catching up to Pink Pearl. Pink Pearl's lead has vanished and Loose Wheel is catching up to her. We only have two more laps to go. Pink Pearl just needs to stay in the lead for the final couple of laps. She's done so good in this race. Don't screw up now. Gold Piston is also catching up to Loose Wheel. He's trying to come and take back first place that he started in. Pink Pearl about to cross the line to start the final lap. Pink Pearl is in first place, being followed by Loose Wheel, Gold Piston, Black Pirates, and Big Dog, who will round off your top five as we go up the booster. Gold Piston has taken second place. Now he's setting his sights on Pink Pearl in the last lap. He's coming down to the wire. They are neck and neck. Pink Pearl is under a lot of stress. She only has half a lap to go, and she will be the champion of this race. And Gold Piston also wanting to take it, being the pole sitter of this race. He's trying to pass Pink Pearl as we go through the final corner, and it's going to be Pink Pearl, who will be your champion of the Monza Grand Prix. With Gold Piston in second, Loose Wheel is in third place. Black Pirates gets fourth. Big Dogs comes in at fifth. A great race for Pink Pearl, dominating every lap, coming down to the wire in the final lap, but she was able to come out with a victory over Gold Piston. We dominated the race in every lap. Fantastic. Oh my goodness, what a wonderful weekend. Everything worked out for us in this GP. Thank you all. Pink Pearl is definitely relieved after a nail biter of a last lap. She's definitely celebrating now. Let's take a look at some of the best moments from this race. 
As you can see at the start of the race, Mimona stalled, losing him a couple places right at the beginning of a race. Not the way you want to start this race. Peppers, one of the only other marbles besides Pink Pearl to hold the lead in this race, as well as Gold Piston briefly right there, but Pink Pearl was in the lead from then on out. Good move by Gold Piston there, overtaking Big Dogs, as well as Loose Wheel through that street. Also a good move. Pink Pearl, though, way up there in the front for the entirety of the race, all the way up until the last lap, where she either made a mistake or the marbles finally caught up. Big Dogs repassing Gold Piston for second place. Gold Piston and Big Dogs were definitely fighting for a lot of this race. Black Pirates also having a decent showing today, being up in 3rd place for some of the race, as well as 4th and 5th place. Fighting with Gold Piston and Big Dogs, as well as Loose Wheel, as we see right here. Loose Wheel putting some pressure on Black Pirates and eventually passing. See Fast Q pins way down there, way behind, going through the drag reduction zone, right as all these other marbles are way up in the track. Arrow Frog having a terrible race today, being in last or near last for the most of the race. He did finally make it a couple spots, but nothing major. This will definitely shake up the overall standings. Black Pirates. Clearly heading in the drag reduction zone there, allowing some other marbles to pass him. It's a very hard thing for some of these marbles to stay out of the drag reduction zone. And now it's time to look at the full race results. Pink Pearl in the lead, Gold Piston is in second, with Loose Wheel in third place. Peppers is getting the bonus point for the fastest lap. Big Dogs being 10 seconds behind Pink Pearl with Black Pirates only 4 seconds. That's a very large gap in between those two marbles. Definitely an exciting race for these fans who are definitely all glad to have came today. Pink Pearl has now gained first place in the overall standings with Big Dogs in second. Loose Wheel is in third place. Arrow Frog has fallen down all the way to fifth place with Night Rivers in sixth. And Pink Pearl has taken the overall lead once again. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the Fubeka store, which has apparel for all your favorite teams for the Marble Circuits 2022. We are now halfway through the Marble Circuits 2022. Only four more races to go. Who will be able to take the overall victory? Pink Pearl is in the lead at this point. Will Arrow Frog be able to come and take the overall lead back from her? We'll have to wait and see. Congratulations to Pink Pearl for getting first place, Gold Piston in second, and Loose Wheel in third place. Congratulations especially to Pink Pearl who dominated this race with style. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Welcome back race fans to the Marble Circuits 2022. I am Jeremiah here to welcome you to the qualifying for the Catalonia Grand Prix. In this race we will be having three qualifying sessions to determine who will start where on the starting grid for race 5 of the Marble Circuits 2022 here at the Catalonia Grand Prix in Spain. We have a tremendous track for you guys today, a very unique track for the, this season, having a lot of S turns as well as a hairpin and the sharpest U-turn in the history of Marble Circuits right after the booster coming up right there. It'll be the sharpest U-turn hairpin that anyone has ever seen in this season. It'll definitely be a stratification area for a lot of these marbles who have not done a hairpin this sharp before. Also, a after that hairpin, it is a very slow and meandering track, which is not focused on speed, more on stamina and strategy for these marbles to just be able to hold out against each other in all of these turns. Definitely one of the most high dense turn tracks in any of the seasons so far. Here are the full standings with Pink Pearl in first place with the 60 points. Big Dogs is in second with Loose Wheel in third place. Pink Pearl taking a commanding win last race. She definitely has a, a win to 
uh, defend in this qualifying, but she is doing a terrible job right now as we start Q1 to go through the hairpin for the first time, and she is down in second place. Knight Rivers is in first place, being followed by Loose Wheel and Sparky as they go through this track for the first lap of two, and Knight Rivers is still defending himself there. Loose Wheel and Sparky are battling for second place as they go through this kind of a heart-shaped part of this track as they go and start the second lap of two. DRS has been act deactivated for the first lap of the qualifying as well as for the race as they go through this hairpin yet again. Aerofog is down in fourth place as he is being uh, pressured by Fast Q pins through these corners. Uh, trying to catch back up to Loose Wheel. He had a terrible race last race. He ended up getting a disappointing 10th place, which is pretty unusual for him. And because of that, he lost his overall lead in the championship standings. And he wants to take it back from Pink Pearl, who is in last place. And she will be eliminated in this qualifying. Ending up in 10th place with Peppers coming in at 11th. And Sea Turtles all the way down in 12th place. What a disappointment for Pink Pearl taking the overall lead in last race, now being eliminated in Q1 of uh, race five of the Marble Circus 2022. And now for Q2, here we go, and it is Mamonas in the lead, being followed by Aerofrog, who takes the lead through that hairpin there. This is a definite crazy hairpin that all these marbles are gonna have to adjust to if they wanna be able to do well in this race. Black Pirates is now in second place with standing the first qualifying and he takes first place. And Aerofrog now takes it back. They are fighting for the pole position as this is a mad dash only two laps as we start the st second lap here. Aerofrog takes the lead by storm as they go through that long back straight up the booster and up to this hairpin now. They all do good and Mamonas uses the hairpin to his advantage and takes first place from Black Pirates and Aerofrog. Who are down in second and third at this point. Gold Piston is defending himself from Big Dogs as they go through these meandering turns. The bottom three marbles to be watching right now as we come up to the end of this lap are Loose Wheel, Night Rivers, and Fast Q Pins who are looking like they are going to be eliminated in Q2. Loose Wheel being champion of one of the races as well as Night Rivers having a great season also being eliminated these two marbles are going to have to have a hard time catching up as well. Loose Wheel did have an amazing comeback in last race. Will he be able to do it again in this race? We'll have to wait and see. But now it is time for Q3 and we're off up the booster and it is Sparky in lead being followed by Mamonas and Big Dogs. Black Pirates is in fourth place with Gold Piston in sixth. Arrow Frog has now trying to take uh, fifth place from Gold Piston but is having some hard time. Big Dog is now trying to catch up to Sparky as they go through these turns and takes first place. As we start the second lap out of four for this qualifying, there is four laps in the Q3 for these marbles to have a little bit more time to fight over the pole position. Mamonas takes first place there. Now Sparky is in second being followed by Big Dogs with Aerofog still in the back of the pack. Black Pirates is in fourth. Will he be able to sit on the top two spots in the qualifying in this season we'll have to wait and see he made it all the way to q3 in race three and in race four after having terrible qualifyings before that but he hasn't been able to stay up in the top three very often the drs is still deactivated for q4 possibly to help these marbles uh, not be in at any disadvantage in such a short race as we enter the third lap Big Dogs is still pressuring Sparky with Mamonas in the lead. Mamonas wants his first pole sitter position in this season, but Sparky takes it back. Now Sparky is in the lead when Mamonas is trying to catch back up, but is having a hard time doing so. Aerofrog has not left last place since the start of the qualifying as we start the final lap. Mamonas is in first place. Sparky is in second. Big Dogs now takes second place from Sparky through the booster. As they go through these hairpins, and Aerofrog is still way behind. Black Pirates is trying to take third place from Sparky at this point. He is drafting Sparky, but Sparky is able to gain some more momentum. As we go through these couple more turns, only a couple more turns to go. And Mamonas will have his first pole sitter position in this season. And he's looking like it's going to happen. Mamonas is your champion of this qualifying with Sparky in second. Big Dogs is in third place with Black Pirates coming in at fourth. 
Gold Piston in fifth, and Aeroflog ends up in sixth. Halfway up the standings in this starting grid, but it's not going to be good enough. Last race's pole sitter Gold Piston sits in fifth place on the starting grid for this race. Will he be able to come and take the win that he wanted last race that Pink Pearl stole? We'll have to wait and find out as we look at these replays here. They go up to Booster for the first qualifying and this hairpin is definitely going to be a point of interest for the next race here in Catalonia. It's definitely going to be a hard turn for a lot of these marbles who have never went through this sharp of a turn before really has to slow down your speed if you don't want to really ram into the wall in that hairpin which is something that these marbles are going to have to practice especially right after the booster all you want to do is just go as fast as you possibly can but you have to slow down if you want to have a controlled and a uh, good turn through that hairpin Let's see how they do in this hairpin. You see there, Mamonas getting pushed up onto the edge of the wall, losing a couple spots. He was in first place, but Aerofrog able, was able to take it from him. That's one of the things that's going to be happening in this race. All these marbles going up on the side of the wall in this hairpin. It's definitely going to be a something that these marbles are going to have a hard time with and going to have to adjust to if they want to be successful in the Catalonia Grand Prix. can see here loose wheel and night rivers being eliminated in q2 definitely a disappointment for them night rivers is having a hard time with the last two qualifyings he's gonna have to do better if he wants to be able to take the overall win and the overall championship standings away from pink pearl he's been doing a good job this season but lately he's having a hard time as we come to Q3, Aerofrog was in the back of the pack for the entirety of this race, not even getting uh, to 5th place past Gold Piston, having a hard time even catching up. Uh, he's going to have to have a, a hard time. Oh, he actually did catch up there for briefly, but he did end up getting in 6th place. He's going to have a hard time actually catching up in the actual race. He's starting halfway up the starting grid. Maybe he'll be able to catch up. We'll have to wait and see. But Mamonas will be sitting on pole position, being followed by Sparky and Big Dogs, who it looks like Sparky took second place right before the line in front of Big Dogs. Good, good move there. And now it's time for the full standings. Mamonas is on pole position with Sparky in second. Big Dogs is in third place. Black Pirates sits in fourth. Gold Piston rounds off your top five. Big Dog race one champion will he be able to take the win this race we'll have to wait and see sparky this video is sponsored by expressvpn expressvpn offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12 month subscription welcome back race fans and marble circuits 2022 i'm jeremiah here to welcome you to the catalonia grand prix in the qualifying, we saw what type of chaos the tight hairpin in this track can cause. A new feature of this series these marbles are definitely going to have to adjust to in this race. Just a friendly reminder that this video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Their service allows you to watch movies and videos that are normally not accessible in your country with the click of a button. Link in the description. Pomona sits on pole position, being followed by Sparky and Big Dogs. How will these marbles be able to do in this race? Big Dogs is the only marble out of these three that have ever won a race uh, sitting in third place. With Black Pirates in fourth place, he's doing well and having a comeback in this season. Gold Piston is in fifth, our pole sitter from last race. We'll have to see how he does in this race as well. Some of the big names in the season so far, such as Aerofrog, Loose Wheel, Night Rivers, are all sitting right next to each other right in the middle of the starting grid. Pink Pearl is having a hard time as well, being near the back of the field to see if she's going to be able to have a comeback being the champion of last race. Here are some stats about our pole sitter Mamonas as we look at the full standings. He sits in 8th place in the standings. He has never won a race in the history of marble circuits. The highest he's placed in this season is 4th, with the lowest being 12th in last race. He finished last place, which is definitely a hard place to finish. And uh, he's trying to make the most of this race sitting in pole position after having a good qualifying. We'll have to see is he, if he is up to the pressure today here in Catalonia. The marbles are ready, and I think it's about time to start racing. 
And now, for race five of the Marble Circuits 2022 here in Catalonia. The lights are on. And we're off with Sparky taking the lead right at the beginning of the race as well as Big Dogs. And Mamonas takes the Drag Reduction Zone, but luckily the Drag Reduction Zone is disabled for the first lap. As we take the first look at this hairpin, which we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on for in the remainder of this race, Pink Pearl has taken the lead. Sparky is coming in at second. Mamonas has fallen down to third. He has to try to catch back up and get back in first place right in this first lap already but he is losing ground as black pirates takes third place pink pearl trying to have a second win in a row is she going to have a major comeback in the second half of this season we'll have to see as she takes the drag reduction zone there she's facing a lot of pressure pressure from others these other marbles as well as mamonas who takes first place there she is now in second place as she and uh, sparky is in third place Mamonas is trying to take his first win of this entire series. He has not had a win in Season 1 or Season 2. We'll have to see how he does in this race as well. Arrow Frog is already up in 4th place, just as I was saying that Black Pirates takes 3rd place from him. Mamonas has now gotten the fastest lap, 31.220 time. Let's see if anyone else can get the fastest lap. Every little point counts in this race. Black Pirates is facing some pressure from Big Dogs as we go through these meandering corners. Black Pirates also is trying to get his first win of this entire series. He's having a comeback in this race and this series as well. He started in fourth place on the starting grid. We'll have to see if he can catch up and make any more places. And now Big Dogs has taken back the fastest lap with the time of 30.52 or 5.32. And look at that, Arrow Frog gets stuck in the hairpin, getting rammed by multiple marbles. What a tragedy for Arrow Frog. He has really been a crash magnet in this season. And Black Pirates takes the lead from Mamonas. Black Pirates trying to take his first win, and Mamonas now is trying to take it back there neck and neck. But Black Pirates is still able to hold the lead as we enter the fifth lap. We have 12 laps today, so it's a cho shorter race in terms of numbers of laps but is a longer track and another ram from behind from big dogs to mamonas through that hairpin it seems like it's kind of an inevitable part of the hairpin that we're gonna have to see in this race black pirates is extending himself here as mamonas takes second place back from big dogs mamonas has lost the lead since the start of the race and he's having a hard time keeping it as he is trying to catch back up to black pirates who is doing a good job at keeping the lead at this point he does go through the drag rejection zone but still so does monos and big dogs to go up the booster here through the hairpin uh, and big dogs is trying to catch up to monos big dogs has had one victory of this series winning race one of season two he wants to put another victory under his name it's gonna have to be hard because he has to try to pass monos and black pirates at this point pink pearl is slowly coming up the standings coming up in six now she started way back down farther in the pack as we go down this back straight here big dogs has taken first place up the booster with black pirates now putting some pressure on him and mamonas passes black pirates good move through there and now mamonas is putting some pressure on big dogs and Mamonas takes first place from Big Dogs there, and Big Dogs takes it right back. They are having a dog fight here for the first place. Mamonas, the split between Mamonas and Big Dogs is 0.9 seconds. We'll have to see if M Big Dogs can extend that any longer as Mamonas takes the drag reduction zone there. Black Pirates is using that to his advantage and tries to catch back up, and Arrow Frog is now in second place. A great move by Arrow Frog using the hairpin to his advantage. After this tragedy in the hairpin before, he has learned how to use this correctly. Hero Frog also wants another win in this season. He won race two of this season. He'll have to see how he does as well. The split is now 0.6 seconds behind Big Dog. Can Big Dog be able to keep the lead for the remainder of the race? We only have three more laps to go and Big Dog will be champion. Black Pirates and Mamonas though are Still in the runnings, they want to be able to take this win as well as we go through these meandering corners once again. Black Pirates is definitely thriving under his new leadership and crew chief after uh, having a terrible first couple of races. 
We're still seeing that Fast 2 Pins is way back down in the bottom of the standings yet again. We start the 10th lap here, two laps to go. Fast 2 Pins is still near the bottom of the pack. He really needs to think about following in Black Pirate's footsteps and rehire a new pit crew so he can be able to do better in these races. Big Dogs has extended the split. Now he's 1.29 seconds, almost 0.3 in front of Aerofrog, who just got passed by Mamonas there as we go through these corners. Mamonas and Aerofrog only have one more lap after this one to be able to pass Big Dog as the lead is slowly diminishing. Big Dogs is slowly losing ground. Every move count here is a great move by Aerofrog there. Some chaos through that hairpin. And now the lead from Aero, or Big Dogs has definitely been vanished. Aerofrog is now trying to come up on Big Dogs. And he takes almost first place. But Big Dogs is able to take it back as he uh, gains some more momentum here. Just trying to hang on for the rest of this race. As we enter the final lap, Big Dogs is in first place. Mamonas is coming up by Storm as he goes through the Drag Reduction Zone and loses some ground as they go up the booster through the hairpin and no uh, action there. Mamonas is coming up and drafting Big Dog, doing everything he can, but loses some ground there. Big Dog is trying to take the overall win, second win in a row in this season, but it's going to be hard as we have only a half a lap to go. Can Big Dogs be able to take the win? It's looking like it's going to happen. And Mamonas takes first place at the last second and steals the win. Congratulations to Mamonas. A great move. Holding off until the final lap. I can't believe it. Mamonas taking the overall win in this race. What an accomplishment for Mamonas. Big Dogs coming in at second. He is furious after doing so well in this race. Black Pirates coming in at third place podium for him impressive performance everything worked out for us in our first victory of the season congratulations that was so exciting i can't believe we got this victory thank you guys mamonas definitely excited in this race we'll have to see how he did in the replays to see just how he stole the win right at the last second from big dogs who had the lead for quite a while in this race some of the big uh, marbles in this race, Mamonas, Black Pirates, Big Dogs, and Sparky, as well as Aerofrog, were the main marbles who were fighting for the win today. As you can see right at the beginning of the race, Mamonas stalled, allowing a lot of other marbles to pass him right at the beginning of the race, and he had to work his way up through the entirety of the race, and it did pay off eventually taking the overall win, but that's something they have to keep in mind, that you don't want to be able to stall right at the beginning of the race something that Mamonas has learned his lesson in. Luckily, he was able to take the win. Big Dogs was in the lead for the majority of the race. Something happened in the last lap, a good move by Mamonas, allowing him to pass Big Dogs right at the last second. Big Dogs definitely upset with today's performance. Look at this crash that happened between Pink Pearl and Aerofrog. Uh, Aerofrog having some unfortunate crashes today through that hairpin. Black Pirates doing a good job at drafting Mamonas here. Did he come over and take the lead? Yes, he did right there. I believe that's Black Pirates taking the lead from Mamonas. And Black Pirates did do a good job racing today, ending up getting third place. This is his second podium of the season, the first being back in Shanghai. Big Dogs, though, had the lead and the win in his grasp. But he lost it in the last lap, having a hard time dealing with that today. After he wanting to have a second win of the season. No Marble has won twice in this season so far. Pink Pearl trying to do that right at the beginning of the race. But wasn't able to do it. And she lost a lot of ground, ending up in 6th place. You can see Mamonas and Big Dogs right here battling for 1st place. Big Dogs taking it from Mamonas as we go through these meandering turns. This really was a uh, polarizing track. You have such a fast and sharp hairpin right after the booster. And after that, it's a very slow and meandering track. Uh, two very different types of racing that these marbles had to be good at both. if They wanted to be able to win in this race. Like that one right there, Aerofrog taking the lead out of that hairpin. But I guess he's not as good on the meandering hairpins, which is he's going to have to have some work on. 
And here's the final pass by Mamonas taking the lead right within the last two corners. Uh, only like two seconds before the finish line. Uh, as you can see, Big Dog's trying to take it back at the last second. He almost had it, but didn't quite get it. And now it's time to look at the full results. Mamonas is in first place. Big Dogs is in second, uh, which is not what he wanted to be in. But at least he did get the fastest lap, which gives him another point. Black Pirates is in third place. Arrow Frog is in fourth. Loose Wheel in fifth. Pink Pearl is in sixth place. Night Rivers is in sixth. You can see all these big names in these series today are up in these top uh, marbles. And now here are the full results. Big Dogs has taken the lead from Pink Pearl with Loose Wheel in third place. Big Dogs has 72 points, Pink Pearl in 68. Loose Wheel has 61, Arrow Frog is down with 60 points. And Mamonas is still in eighth place. Even though he got first place, he has not made it up any ground in the overall standings. Congratulations to Mamonas for getting first place, Big Dogs in second, and Black Pirates in third place. An amazing race today with a steal of a win from Mamonas from Big Dogs. Big Dog. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Hey everyone, welcome to Canada for the sixth qualifying of the season here in Montreal. Eight marbles are still in contention for the overall championship, but as these races go on, that number decreases. Big Dogs has regained his lead in the standings after losing it to Arrow Frog in race two, who kept the lead for quite a while, but then lost it to Pink Pearl in race four, who then lost it back to Big Dogs, who has slowly been racking up the points but not in the lead. He has now gained back the lead. And can he keep it for the last three races of this season? We'll have to wait and find out. Pink Pearl definitely wants to take it back for him as we take a look at the track here in Montreal. The starting gate for this qualifying has been moved from its standard location to the top of the booster, as well as the drag reduction zone being directly after the booster, being followed by a sharp 90 degree corner. The marbles are going to have to watch out for these two challenging features right next to each other. Going to have to see how they react in this race. As we look at the full standings, Big Dog sits in first place, being followed by Pink Pearl and Loose Wheel. Arrow Frog has fallen down to fourth. Gold Piston is in fifth. Night Rivers is in sixth place. All these marbles are striving to become champion of this season, and this qualifying is a good place to start. And we're off for Q1 and Sparky takes lead right at the beginning of the race being followed by Black Pirates and now Peppers with Gold Piston in third now fourth place fighting Black Pirates for the top podium spot as uh, Peppers now has taken the lead now Sparky they're all fighting for the top position at this point this is a mad dash. Vasco Pin still in last place. Will he be eliminated in the first qualifying yet again? We'll have to see as we enter the second and final lap of this qualifying. Sparky is still in the lead, being followed by Peppers and Gold Piston. Black Pirates is down in fourth. And Mamonas, Night Rivers, and Fast Pins are in the elimination zone. They need to do all they can to get out if they want to be able to make it to the next round. Night Rivers being a big contender in this season, but having some trouble with the qualifying. And Loose Wheel has taken first place from Sparky as we finish the first qualifying of this video. Mamonas, Night Rivers, and Fast Pins will be eliminated. And Fast Pins is eliminated in the first qualifying yet again. He will be starting in the last spot on the starting grid in race six here in Montreal. And now for Q2, the marbles are in the blocks. And away we go. Big Dogs takes the lead and as well as Sparky and Peppers is up there as well. Some of the marbles in the back loose wheel is trailing behind very far as well as for Gold Piston and Pink Pearl who has a hit from Arrow Frog there, slowing her down quite a bit. Sea Turtles is in first place. This is the first time we have seen this in a long time in this entire season. The Sea Turtles fans are definitely happy at this point. He is fighting with Big Dogs for the first place. Sea Turtles is in last in the overall standings, only having 12 points. It is not possible for him to win the overall championship, but can he have at least a small comeback and climb the standings in the 
second half of this season. We'll have to wait and see as we enter the second lap of this qualifying. Black Pirates is in third place. The marbles that are in the elimination zone are loose wheel, pink pearl, and gold piston. Can pink pearl get out of the elimination zone by the end of the lap? It's not looking like it's going to happen. As well as Arrow Frog, who will be eliminated with Gold Piston and Pink Pearl. Pink Pearl being the overall leader before Big Dogs took it over last race. Before that, Arrow Frog was in the lead for the majority of the first half of the season. Uh, we'll have to see how they do in the final race as we start Q3. Loose Wheel takes the lead, but it is still Big Dogs and Sparky who have been fighting this entire qualifying at this point. Sparky is in the lead right now. And uh, a good move by Sparky there, hitting uh, Big Dogs from behind, losing some momentum, but lost out to Loose Wheel there. And Sparky takes it back again. Sparky is victory hungry. Can Sparky try to take the overall championship in this season? I don't think so. He's in the bottom four marbles. Loose Wheel is up in third place in the overall standings, so he has a chance of winning. As well as Big Dogs, who is in the overall lead, with Black Pirates in there as well. Sea Turtles is trailing behind in 6th place. Uh, this is going to be a, definitely one of the better qualifyings for him in this season. But uh, he hasn't had a very good season at this point. He was a top contender last season. What happened in this season that caused such an abrupt change in placing and strategy? This is an interesting group of marbles we have in this qualifying. Sparky, Sea Turtles, and Pepper is not mathematically possible to win the overall championship with Loose Wheel, Big Dogs, and Black Pirates still in contention for the lead. But Sparky is in first place in that this point. Loose Wheel is in second with Black Pirates in fourth. Uh, these three marbles want to dethrone Sparky as he doesn't really even need the pole position at this point because he cannot take the overall championship as we start the final lap. Sparky is still in the lead, being followed by Loose Wheel and Black Pirates as we go through this sharp corner. They're trying to just catch up to Sparky and take pole position. Loose Wheel wants another race win under his belt, but it's going to be hard as Sparky is still in the lead. But he gained some ground there, and as well as Black Pirates, but Sparky is still able to keep the pole position as we go through the final turn, and it is Sparky will be your champion of this qualifying with Loose Wheel in second. Black Pirates is on third place. Peppers in fourth. Big Dogs finishes in fifth with Sea Turtles in sixth place. Our overall leader, Big Dog, sits in fifth place. Will he be able to get higher up in this race and take a second win in this season? No Marble has won two races yet in this season. So we're waiting for that in this next race. Will that happen? We'll have to wait and see as we take a look at these replays here. Sparky was definitely one of the top contenders of these races today. Uh, he really knows how to use this track to his advantage as well as for Peppers and uh, Loose Wheel. Black Pirates was also up in there doing well in this race as well as for Sea Turtles who made it to the final qualifying but ended up getting last in that final race. But we'll have to see how he does in the actual race to, on Sunday. Pink Pearl being eliminated in the second qualifying. Mimonas, our last champion, last race champion, was eliminated in the first qualifying. That must be humiliating for him. You can see Big Dogs taking an early lead here, facing some pressure from Peppers as they go through these meandering turns. Loose Wheel was way back in the pack but he was able to get out of the elimination zone within two laps and was able to move on to the final qualifying a good accomplishment for him in today's races so we take a look at the final qualifying peppers having a rough start right at the starting gate there as well as for black pirates as the four other marbles got farther up ahead than they did and a good move by Black Pirates there, using Peppers to his advantage to gain some more momentum. Here is the final lap here. Sparky just holding off for the final couple of, of turns from a uh, loose wheel and was able to take pole position. Black Pirates getting in third place. Will this be the race where he will get his first win of the entire season? We'll have to wait and see on Sunday. 
Here are the full results with Sparky in first place, Loose Wheel coming in at second, Black Pirates is in third place, Peppers finishes in fourth, Big Dogs is in fifth. Going down to the bottom, it's Fast Coupins, Night Rivers, and Mimonas who are going to have the hardest time catching back up to the rest of the marbles in Sunday. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Hello Marble Sports fans, welcome back to the Marble Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah, here to welcome you to the Montreal Grand Prix. This is the sixth race of the season, only two more races to go after this race, and the Marbles are running out of time to collect points and get higher up in the overall standings. Sitting atop of the overall standings is Big Dogs with 72 points, being followed closely by Pink Pearl with 68 and then Loose Wheel with 61 points. Pink Pearl, last season's champion, is trying to come up and take first place from Big Dogs to try to win her second season in a row. Big Dogs does not want that to happen though. He's just fresh on the top of the standings as of last race, as well as Loose Wheel who wants to get up on the top as well. Now let's talk about our pole sitter for today's race, which is Sparky, who uh, uh, had a good qualifying last qualifying a couple days ago, getting a qualifying time of two minutes which was only 0.4 seconds in front of the next marble, which is Loose Wheel, who sits on second place with Black Pirates in third place. Can Black Pirates come and take his first victory of the season in this race? We'll have to wait and see as the race progresses in today's video. Sparky also has not had a podium or a win in this entire season. He has had one pole position in this entire season. That's the best accomplishment he has at this point. He sits in 10th on the overall standings with only 13 points, tied with fast two pins down in 11. Sea Turtles is down in 12th place with 12 points. He uh, has definitely had a downfall in this season after having been let, finishing in third place overall in last season. Uh, so hopefully he'll be able to do better in this race today. And now, for race six of the Marble Circus 2022 here in Montreal. The lights are on, and we're off. Loose Wheel taking the lead right at the beginning of the race, being followed by Sparky and Black Pirates, with Big Dogs in fourth place being followed by Peppers as we go up the booster. The drag reduction zone is not disabled for the first lap in this race. Due to it being directly after the booster, the Marbles have no shortage of speed there. We go through these turns here, and Loose Wheel is still uh, has lost the lead there to Big Dogs, who's now in first place with Black Pirates in second. Sparky is in third place, has already lost some ground in this first lap. Can he even stay up in the top half of the field? We'll have to wait and see. Gold Piston has gotten the fastest lap at this point with a time of 30.401. We'll have to see if any other marbles can beat that in the rest of the race. Big Dogs is hungry for victory in this race after getting second in the last race, losing out to Mamonas. Can he get another race win under his belt? This will be the second win in a row if he succeeds for this season. First time in the season that a marble has been able to get two races uh, in this season. Peppers has now taken second place from Black Pirates as they go up the booster there, but goes through the drag reduction stri strip, uh, causing him to not be able to pass Big Dogs in that area. Loose Wheel has now taken third place and putting some pressure on Peppers and he takes third pl second place briefly but then Gold Piston now takes second place. They're all right up against each other drafting each other through these turns. Some very good moves by all these marbles. Black Pirates is falling down the order. Loose Wheel making a move against Peppers there taking third place going up the booster now trying to come up and take second place from Gold Piston there through that sharp corner. A good move by Loose wheel there. Black Pirates is trying to maintain his ground uh, since the start of the race. He is in third place, same as his starting position. He has gained a couple and lost a couple. Now he's trying to set his sights on loose wheel and big dogs up in the front. We are in lap five, already a third of the race done. Only two thirds left to go as Big Dogs is extending himself from the rest of the field and doing a good job at it. The split is 1.2 seconds from Loose Wheel who is in second place. Big Dogs wants to extend that lead. Loose Wheel is trying all he can just come up and make that smaller, but loses out to Black Pirates there who's gaining on Big Dogs fast as we go through these corners and Big Black Pirates takes the lead. 
Great move by Black Pirates, and now Big Dogs is drafting him through this back straight, and he takes it right back. Great moves by both of these marbles. Big Dogs having a scare there, but he gains back third first place. Fast Q Pins has now taken the fastest lap, getting 29.166. Let's see if any other marbles can beat it. Uh, he is down in 11th place in the overall standings, so every little point counts just to get him up out of this uh, standing that he's in right now, just to try to ease the hum humiliation of finishing so far down in the standings. Loose Wheel trying to catch up to the top two marbles, but is pretty far behind as to go up the booster, trying to do all he can to catch up to the rest of the field, which is Big Dogs and Black Pirates, who Big Dog has made an incredible lead in front of Black Pirates at this point. The 1.1 seconds ahead of Black Pirates. Black Pirates is trying to catch back up. As we take a look at the middle of the field, Gold Piston all the way down to Fast Q Pins. So, uh, some other marbles in there. Arrow Frog, Peppers, Sparky. Sparky is down all the way in 8th. He has had a terrible time in this race so far, being our pole sitter, falling down so far in this race. Pink Pearl is down in 11th. She is in second in the overall standings. She's having a terrible race as well. I have a feeling she's not going to be in second at the end of this race. With Knight Rivers down in last place, he has been there for a long time. He is having a terrible race as well. He has had a downfall in the second half of this season. Will he be able to have a comeback? in the rest of the season we'll have to wait and see it's not look, look, looking like it at this point black pirates has taken the lead from big dogs as they go through these chicanes and sea turtles is now in third place taking it from loose wheel loose wheel is losing ground now facing some pressure from gold piston black pirates has extended his lead from big dogs a tremendous lead at this point with sea turtles trying to catch up to big dogs as well with uh, loose wheel putting some pressure on sea turtles we are in the 10th lap, only 4 laps to go. The split between Black Pirates and Big Dogs is one and a half seconds. A very large split. Big Dogs is going to have to try to do hard if he wants to try to catch up to uh, Black Pirates. But he's having some trouble there and gets passed by Sea Turtles. Sea Turtles is now trying to catch up to Black Pirates. Black Pirates is doing a tremendous job in the second half of this race. Will he be able to take his first win of the season and just prove that his hiring of a new crew chief has helped him out in this series. Our last race champion, Mamonas, is down in 7th place. He's having a decent race, but he is in the bottom half. Now joining the top half as he enters 6th place there. Trying to catch up to the rest of the marbles in the top half ever so slightly as Black Pirates is still in the lead. And here comes Sea Turtles by Storm trying to come up and take over Big Dogs. Big Dogs has a good defense there, but Sea Turtles is still on his tail trying to catch up going through the drag reduction zone, but nothing happens there. Neither of them take the uh, drag enhanced side of the drag reduction zone, which slows them down, allowing the other marble to pass. Neither of them did, and Sea Turtles hits the wall there, allowing Loose Wheel to take third place. Now trying to catch up and pass Big Dogs. As to go through these corners, we're entering the 13th lap. Only two more laps to go. Black Pirates is nowhere to be seen in this screen. Will he be able to take the overall win? It's looking like it at this point. He is very far ahead from Big Dogs, who is in second place. Being followed by Loose Wheel, who is in third. All these marbles are pretty spaced out as they go through this little chicane. Loose Wheel is losing ground on Big Dogs. Black Pirates is just having a joy ride at this point as we enter the final lap. Black Pirates is in first place. Big Dogs is in second. Loose Wheel is in third place. Sea Turtles is trying to come up and take the final podium spot away from Loose Wheel, but it's getting looking like it's going to be hard. Loose Wheel does take the drag reduction zone, but so does Sea Turtles, not letting him catch up to Loose Wheel at this point. Black Pirates only has a half a lap to go, and he is very far ahead from uh, Big Dogs, and he will be champion of this race. Only two more turns to go. It looks like Sea Turtles has taken second place, but Black Pirates will be your champion of race six of the Marble Circus 2022 in the Montreal Grand Prix. His first victory of the season, his new crew chief really helping him win the overall win in this race. Sea Turtles comes in at second, beating out Big Dogs, who finishes in third place.
You did it. You won your first race of the season. Great job. Yes, I can't believe it. Thank you for bringing me to victory. You can hear Black Pirates thanking his crew chief for his success. He's definitely grateful and he's definitely excited after today's race. Here are the full results. Black Pirates gets the 25 points with Sea Turtles in second. Big Dogs is in third place. Fast Cupin finishes in seventh. A good finish for him. He also gets the fastest lap, which is also an extra point. He made five spots gained in today's race. But ultimate congratulations go to Black Pirates in today's race. Now let's take a look at some of these replays to see just how Black Pirates managed to take the overall win from Loose Wheel, Sparky, and Big Dogs. Sparky fell down very far in this race after starting on pole position. He definitely had a hard race in today's race, uh, after, which was not expected after the qualifying. It seemed like he had such mastery over this track. Uh, something just, he just didn't have it today. Loose Wheel, Big Dogs, and Black Pirates, as well as Sea Turtles, were the main marbles who were fighting for the top position in today's race. Big Dogs holding the lead for quite some time, but then he was overtaken by Black Pirates in the second half of the race, who was never, who never lost out and was crowned champion. Let's take a look at some of these good replays here. Black Pirates coming in from fifth place, I think, passing Loose Wheel and Gold Piston. No, it was fourth and then tries to come up and pass Big Dogs through this turn by Storm, and he uh, takes the first place there. Great move by Black Pirates, and I believe that was the moment where Big Dog came and took it right back for a little while, but then Black Pirates came and uh, regained the lead. You can see that sharp corner causing some trouble for some of these marbles, like Pepper's right there having a small incident with Mamonas. Pepper's having some trouble. Uh, but he uh, seemed to recover. We take a look at Mamonas coming and passing multiple marbles here through this back straight, as well as Fast Coupins, who finished in seventh. Good finish for him. He uh, got started in last place in the qualifying, so he gained uh, quite a few spots in today's race. Here we can see Loose Wheel overtaking Black Pirates at that little uh, uh, chicane area. And now it's time to look at the full standings. And look at that. Black Pirates has taken second place in the overall standings. Talk about a comeback. Will Black Pirates be able to take the overall lead in the last two races? It is possible, even if Big Dogs get second place Black Pirates keeps this up. He can win the overall championship. Loose Wheel comes in at third with Arrow Frog in fourth place. Pink Pearl has fallen down all the way to fifth after getting an 11th place finish in today's race. He definitely had a rough race today. Congratulations to Black Pirates for getting first place, Sea Turtles in second, and Big Dogs in third place. Definitely an amazing comeback for Black Pirates in today's race. And the future looks bright for the rest of the season. We still have to watch out for Big Dogs, who's in, who is in the overall lead. He still wants to take the overall championship. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Hello Marble Sports fans, welcome back. We are here in Monaco for yet another qualifying of another race here on Fubeca's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, here to welcome you to the Marble Circuits 2022. As we enter the penultimate stage of this season, the Marbles are running out of time to get points uh, to take the overall championship. The Marble who stands on top of the standings right now is Big Dogs, who has 87 points being followed closely by Black Pirates who has 73 and then Loose Wheel who also has 73 in third place. Uh, all these three marbles are really battling for the top position including Black Pirates who is having an amazing comeback in the season. Um, but they, uh, the gate is still open for a lot of the marbles in the standings at this point to be able to take the overall championship. So uh, the pole position in this race is really going to be valuable as we only have two more uh, opportunities to get points in this season. 
as we take a look at today's track for the first time. This is going to be the first track and probably the last in this season that's going to have a tunnel. It's going to be interesting as well as a very wide corner uh, that will give the marbles a lot more space to uh, roll around and see how they can pass each other. And now for Q1, the marbles are in the blocks. And away we go, and it is fast two pins in the lead, being followed by Sparky and Aerofrog, who are in second and third. Uh, fast two pins is trying all he can to not be eliminated in the first qualifying. He has had a terrible qualifying and a terrible season this entire season, so he is trying to make it at all odds to uh, stay in the top, uh, at least the top nine at this point. But Aerofrog is able to overtake him as we enter the second and final lap and enter the booster for the first time. Sea Turtles has taken third place. Loose Wheel is in fifth, and now we need to look at the elimination zone. It is Big Dogs in 10th place with Pink Pearl in 11th, and Night Rivers is down in last place. Black Pirates is down in 10th place. That's not good for him if he wants to gain more points in this season. Pink Pearl just getting out of the elimination zone, and Fast Q Pins has taken the lead at this point. Big Dogs, the overall points leader, is down in 11th place. It's looking like he's gonna be eliminated in this qualifying as well. Yes, he does, as well as Black Pirates and Night Rivers. Big Dogs is gonna have a hard time catching back up and keeping the lead in this next race. Fast Q Pins has finally not been eliminated in the first qualifying. A good achievement for him. We'll have to see how he lasts in the second qualifying. And we're off, and it is Pink Pearl this time who is in the lead, being followed by Fast Q Pins. Has he had a change of strategy? Possibly, it seems here. He's being followed and now overtaken by Sparky, who is now setting his sights on Pink Pearl. So they go through these corners through the tunnel at this point with some uh, cool blue lighting in there. Just a different atmosphere for these marbles to have to go through in this race. Pink Pearl is defending herself from Sparky. She has had a decent season and she's just trying to stay up in the lead so she can uh, take the overall championship if she is able to get enough points. And we are in the final lap. The elimination zone has Peppers, Sea Turtles, and Mimonas currently in its grasp. Uh, these marbles are trying to get out as quickly as possible as we enter the tunnel and it's not looking like they're going to be able to get out and Peppers, Sea Turtles, and Mimonas will be eliminated in this qualifying as well. They did have some jostling at the last second, but it is Sea Turtles who got the uh, lowest spot in that elimination. Now for Q3, with four laps and we're off, this time it is Loose Wheel who we have not seen in the top three for uh, the entirety of this qualifying so far. Now he's in the lead with Gold Piston in second and uh, Fast Q Pins has made it all the way to Q3. A great accomplishment for him in this race. Loose Wheel though, he is up in the top three on these overall standings. He's trying to get points as well. Uh, he has 73 points. All he has to do is get a couple more places higher than Big Dogs, which it's looking like it's going to happen at this point because Big Dogs was eliminated in the first qualifying and uh, he'll be able to take the overall championship lead from Big Dogs. Gold Piston is in second with Sparky in third place. Fast Pins is down in fourth. Arrow Frog is coming up at the back being uh, uh, chasing Pink Pearl as we enter the third lap. Loose Wheel is just trying to extend himself from Gold Piston as we go up the booster for the third time. They go through this uh, wide corner. It's definitely an interesting corner for some of these marbles. There's a lot of bouncing off the walls as we go through that corner. It's definitely a different change of pace for some of these marbles in this season. Gold Piston is catching up to Loose Wheel as we start the final lap. Loose Wheel is just trying to hold his ground and Fast Coupin is trying to hold his ground uh, from Pink Pearl as we go up the booster for the final time through the wide corner Gold Piston is on Loose Wheel's tail as we go through these couple more corners Loose Wheel just has to stay in the lead for the remainder of the lap and he will be the pole sitter of this race Gold Piston is trying to do all he can there neck and neck uh, Gold Piston is drafting him going through the boost of uh, the uh, tunnel and Loose Wheel will be your champion of the qualifying for the Monaco Grand Prix and he will be the pole sitter for this race with Gold Piston coming in at second. A good uh, try for Gold Piston, but no avail with Pink Pearl in third place. Fast Pins will be starting in fourth, Sparky in fifth, and Aerofrog will be starting in sixth place.
if the race here in Monaco finished the same way that it will start because of this starting position, Loose Wheel would definitely gain the lead. Pink Pearl would probably come in second and Aerofrog would be up there in the top three as well. Now let's look at the results, see just how uh, Loose Wheel was able to take the overall podium spot in this qualifying. He was really not in the top uh, couple marbles in the, in the uh, first two qualifyings. Uh, he was in fifth right there. He wasn't really in the spotlight though because the, the marbles you want to watch in these qualifyings are the top few and then the bottom few. Uh, so he was kind of more of a mid runner right up until the last qualifying and that's where he really sh uh, shined and just came to out to, uh, to take the overall podium. Black Pirates and Big Dogs, the top two contenders in this uh, season right now, being eliminated in the first qualifying, uh, definitely not good for them. They're really going to have to try hard to gain spots in the next race uh, if they want to be able to retain the lead. Fast Coupins having a tremendous showing here in today's qualifying, getting all the way to Q4. He usually gets eliminated in the first qualifying of uh, this series. Maybe he's finally getting his bearings and uh, learning how to work this new qualifying format of this season. Maybe he's just a slow learner. So we take a look at the final qualifying right here. He is in third place at the moment. Loose Wheel though held the lead for almost the entire race. Pink uh, Gold Piston almost coming up and taking the lead from him. It was for pole position, but he wasn't able to do it through the tunnel for the final time, and Loose Wheel was able to take the pole position. Gold Piston coming in at second. Pink Pearl, also a contender in this season. She might uh, be able to come up and take the lead from Loose Wheel. She can be aggressive like that. And here are the full results. Loose Wheel coming in at first place. Gold Piston in second. Pink Pearl in third. The Fast Group Pins and Sparky rounding off your top five. Night Rivers and Big Dogs as well as Black Pirates coming in in the bottom three. Night Rivers having a terrible qualifying and a terrible downfall. Welcome back race fans to the Monaco Grand Prix for the penultimate race of the Marble Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah and I'm excited to be here as the things get tense here on the track. We have Big Dog sitting on top of the standings with 87 points being followed closely by Black Pirates and Loose Wheel. Big Dogs and Black Pirates are starting pretty far back on the starting grid. Loose Wheel is up on pole position. He's the marble that is most likely to be able to take the overall lead at this point. If he would want to be able to take the lead, he would have to be able to get first place and Big Dogs would have to get fourth for them to be tied. And if Loose Wheel got fastest lap, then Loose Wheel would be taking first place by one point. We'll have to see if he is able to do it in today's race. Some other marbles in the top half of the starting grid. Gold Piston uh, sits in sixth place on the overall standings. He may have a chance of getting higher up as well as for Pink Pearl sitting in third. She sits in fifth in the overall standings. As we look at the results from the qualifying a couple days ago, we see Loose Wheel getting first place, getting that coveted pole position, uh, which definitely will help him in this race today if he wants to take the overall lead. There's only two more races to be able to take the lead before a winner is crowned. So uh, every position in these qualifyings count in these last two races. As we take a look at the track today here in Monaco, some of the features are the tunnel as well as the wide corner. The marbles are gonna have to figure out how to use these elements to their advantage if they wanna succeed in today's race. And now for the penultimate race of the Marble Circus 2022. The marbles are ready, the lights are on, and boogity boogity boogity, let's go racing boys! It is Gold Piston out to the lead right at the beginning of the race being followed by Loose Wheel who lost out his pole position right in the first couple of seconds in the race being followed by Pink Pearl who is in third and then Arrow Frog is up there as well but Gold Piston is trying to extend his lead at this point as we go through the track for the first time in this race. And now Loose Wheel takes first place from uh, Gold Piston as we go through these couple of corners and now about to enter the tunnel. As we go through the tunnel here and now for the starting of the second lap, Loose Wheel has gained a tremendous lead already in the second lap. Knight Rivers has gained the fastest lap with 50, or 29 seconds uh, and he is in sixth place right now out uh, starting in last. A great start for him and he is having a comeback at this point. Gold Piston is still trying to come up and catch Loose Wheel. 
try to get as many points as possible to be able to try to take the overall championship. And Knight Rivers is in third place already in the third lap. Almost, not even. Now the third lap. He is having an amazing comeback in this race. Will he be able to come and take the overall championship from Big Dog if he does a tremendous job in the last two races of this season? I'm not sure, but it looks like he's going to try. He's now uh, putting some pressure on Gold Piston as they go through these corners. Loose Wheel is still far ahead at this point. Arrow Frog and Pink Pearl are fighting farther back in 4th and 5th place. Black Pirates is up in 8th. Eighth, he's not having a very good race. He did not have a very good starting position, though. Can he be able to come back up and take uh, some more points and possibly even take the lead? We'll have to wait and see. He's still in eighth at this point. As we take a look at the mid pack here, Mamonas, Arrow Frog, and Pink Pearl battling for the fourth, fifth, and sixth place. Mamonas coming out on top. Gold Piston, Knight Rivers, and Loose Wheel have faced or spaced out from each other at this point, just trying to stay ahead of the marble behind them. Uh, so, not much action at this point as we enter the fifth lap here in Monaco. You can see Black Pirates coming up behind Pink Pearl trying to inch his way up from the back of the pack. And there's Fast Pins behind him. Fast Pins started in fourth place on the starting grid. And now he has fallen all the way down to eighth place. Not a very good race for him. He did have a good qualifying the first in the entire season but he's having a hard time in this race, which is not uncommon to see in the Marble Circus 2022. You can see Black Pirates drafting Pink Pearl through the tunnel there and loses out a little bit. Pink Pearl is able to gain back some momentum. Black Pirates is still trying to come up and take it. Loose Wheel has made a tremendous lead for himself. The split is, is 2.16 seconds. That is an amazing split for the Marble Circus 2022. And uh, some marbles are having some trouble in the DRS there. But Loose Wheel is the one who everybody is watching at this point, having a dominating race at this point. If he wins this race, it will be the first time that a marble has won two races in this season because each race so far has had a different champion. Knight Rivers also wants to take his first win of the entire season. He has gotten two second places, uh, and then he started not doing so well in the second half of the season, and now he might be having a comeback in today's race. Loose Wheel losing some momentum there, and Knight Rivers is trying to catch up, uh, and Gold Piston has lost some ground on Mamonas. Mamonas is trying to come up and take third place from Gold Piston. Gold Piston does not like what he's seeing through these corners here, and Mamonas coming in, and he takes third place from Gold Piston right before the booster, and now through this wide turn, let's go through the drag reduction zone there. Mamonas now trying to set his sights on Knight Rivers who is up in second place, 2.2 seconds behind Loose Wheel. Uh, so the split is growing between Loose Wheel and Knight Rivers. Either Loose Wheel is doing better or Knight Rivers is doing worse at this point. Mimonas now succumbs to uh, Gold Piston there. Gold Piston has now taken third place. Mimonas now takes it right back. They are fighting for the third place at this point. We are already halfway through this race. And now Knight Rivers is being drafted by Gold Piston here. Knight Rivers has lost his lead from Gold Piston. Gold Piston is trying to do all he can to take second place at this point with Loose Wheel just up in the front in the peace and quiet with not a care in the world. And here comes Gold Piston and he takes second place from Knight Rivers. Knight Rivers has lost second place. Now Gold Piston is trying to come up and do better than Knight Rivers. Trying to come up and take Set a first place from Loose Wheel, who is very far ahead at this point. Already a couple turns ahead of Gold Piston. Knight Rivers is trying to come up and take back second place. And now Arrow Frog is up in fourth place, uh, trying to come up and take third from Knight Rivers. But it's going to be hard as Knight Rivers is still battling with Gold Piston up in the front. And he takes second place back from Gold Piston there. Gold Piston has fallen down the third yet again. Loose Wheel has had a dominating race in this entire race. Uh, he has not been out of the lead for the entirety of the race. The split is 2.1 seconds. Knight Rivers and Gold Piston trying to use each other's momentum just to catch up to Loose Wheel. Gold Piston is still battling with Knight Rivers for second place as Loose Wheel crosses the line for the 11th and now 12th lap. And uh, uh, Knight Rivers is still up in second. Gold Piston in third with Arrow Frog in fourth and 
Pink Pearl is in fifth place. She has not really moved very much in this race. She has just kind of been in the middle of the pack. Will she be able to pull out uh, a overall win in the last race? Is she holding back and to win the last race like she did in season one? We'll have to wait and see. Mamonas has now taken fifth place from Pink Pearl there. As we enter the 13th lap, the penultimate lap of the penultimate race here in the Marble Circus 2022, Loose Wheel is still in the lead. Big Dogs is down in 11th place. He is for sure going to lose the overall lead to probably Loose Wheel at this point. Night Rivers is going to also climb up the standings as well, as well as for Gold Pisson and Arrow Frog. Black Pirates is down in 7th. He's definitely going to fall down uh, the standings as well. So uh, this is is going to be an interesting turn of events as they enter the final lap. Loose Wheel is still in the lead by a huge margin with Night Rivers in second. Gold Piston is in third. Loose Wheel is already up the booster before the uh, second two marbles even get to that corner there. And uh, he's already going up through this corner as you can see at the top of your screen as the second and third marbles are way down, uh, way behind him. Loose Wheel about to enter the tunnel as uh, Night Rares is about to enter this final corner. Loose Wheel comes around the final corner and he will be the champion for the second time in the Marble Circus 2022 here at the Monaco Grand Prix. Night Rivers comes in second with Gold Piston in third place. Arrow Frog comes in at fourth. Pink Pearl ends up in fifth place. What an amazing race today. Loose Wheel just having a dominating performance trying to do all he can to take the overall championship which he has achieved in today's race. Amazing. We managed to surprise the opponents with our strategy. Congratulations. Wow, I can't believe we got this victory this weekend. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Loose Wheel is definitely excited about his second win of the season and the fact that he is able to take the overall championship from Big Dogs. As we take a look at the full race result, Big Dogs finished down in 10th place. Black Pirates finished in 7th. These two other top two marbles uh, did not have a very good race today, but Loose Wheel is the one who had the best race. Night River is having the fastest lap as well. Let's see at look at the replays to see how Loose Wheel is just able to keep in the lead for almost the entirety of the race outside of the first two laps. Uh, Gold Piston was in the lead, and he was uh, battling with Loose Wheel for the first lap or two, and then Loose Wheel just extended his lead for the entirety of the race after that point. You can see also Pink Pearl trying to use all the chaos right at the beginning of the race to uh, gain spots, but she was not able to do it. She ended up finishing in fifth place. Gold Piston, you can see one of the few moments that he was in the lead in the race, and now Loose Wheel is already in the lead by the end of the first lap. To go through that tunnel there, a very interesting tunnel uh, for today's race see all these marbles arrow frog having a decent race today uh but night river is having the fastest lap uh which is surprising you would think that loose wheel would have the fastest lap but maybe the reason he was in the lead for so long is that other all the other marbles just were not able to catch up to him once he had already made the lead you can see here gold piston coming up and taking third place from mamonos great move by gold piston there we only have one more race to go after this race, and uh, there's only one more chance for these marbles to be able to come over and take the overall championship lead from now Loose Wheel. We'll have to see how the overall standings have been shaken after today's race, and see which marbles are still in contention for the overall championship in the last race in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Gold Piston and Night Rivers were the main marbles who were fighting in the top two podium spots besides Loose Wheel. Uh, and Night Rivers was able to take second place after having a couple bad races. Another second place finish for Night Rivers. He has to have the record for the most second place finishes in this season. So you can see Loose Wheel a good, like, probably three or four seconds in front of the other two marbles at the finish line. And now it's time to look at the overall standings. Loose Wheel has taken first place from Big Dogs, who is 10 points behind Loose Wheel at this point with 88, but Loose Wheel has 98. Arrow Frog is in third place with 82. Black Pirates has 79. Pink Pearl having 78. Night Rivers has gained a couple spots, getting to sixth place with 72 points. It's not possible for him to take the overall win, but he still may be able to climb the standings in the final race to pass up all 
you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below who you think will win the overall championship at the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Congratulations to Luz Wheel for getting first place, Night Rivers in second, and Gold Pistol in third place. Luz Wheel taking the overall championship, will he be able to hold it for the last race of the Mobile Service 2022? We'll have to wait and find out. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Welcome back, Marble Sports fans, to the qualifying for the final race of the Marble Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah, and I'm here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, for the Interlagos Grand Prix. Five marbles are in contention for the overall championship. Loose Wheel sits atop of the standings with Big Dogs coming in close at second, and Arrow Frog sits in third place. And Black Pirates and Pink Pearl are the only other two marbles that are mathematically possible to take the overall championship. So these five marbles really need to have a good performance in today's qualifying if they want to have a good start in the race here at Sao Paulo, Brazil. And let's take a look at the track for today's race. It is a very long track with multiple overlays, a very winding track also has a couple very fast sections for these marbles to uh, really increase their speed in today's qualifying. So uh, Loose Wheel, if he can get second or better in the uh, race in a couple days, then he will be guaranteed the championship for this uh, entire season. So if he can get in the first top two or even top three spots in the overall qualifying, then uh, he'll be able to have a better chance of winning this championship. So we'll have to watch and see how he does in this qualifying. And now for Q1 of the last race of the Marble Circus 2022, and we're off, and it is Knight Rivers in the lead, being followed by Mamonas, who now takes first place as we start the first lap, and it is uh, uh, Arrow Frog who has now taken first place from Mamonas, and now they go up the boost for the first time. It is Arrow Frog, Knight Rivers, and Fascu Pins up there in third place. Fascu Pins want to have another good qualifying after having a good qualifying last race, but he did have a terrible race. So uh, the qualifying doesn't really matter. Yes, it does, but only if you're able to use it to your advantage in the actual race. Knight Rivers is still in the lead, but he is facing some pressure from Pink Pearl at this point. Also, Peppers is up there with Arrow Frog as well. Peppers is now trying to come and take first place from Knight Rivers. Where are these marbles that are in contention for the overall championship? There's Arrow Frog in Pink Pearl in third and fourth. Loose Wheel is down in ninth, and a Big Dogs is in 11th. Will Big Dogs be eliminated in this first qualifying? It's looking like it's going to happen, and Loose Wheel has fallen down and into the elimination zone as well. Loose Wheel will be eliminated. Big Dogs barely gets out of the elimination zone. Loose Wheel will start in 11th place. Black Pirates in 10th. Loose Wheel is going to have a very hard time in this race if he wants to hold the championship lead in the final race. Black Pirates also is going to have a hard time if he wants to be able to come up and take the lead as well. We'll have to see how the remaining two marbles uh, are going to be able to do in this qualifying in Q2 as we start here. Peppers is in the lead being followed by Big Dogs and Arrow Frog. As uh, we go through these turns and this straight here, almost up to the booster at this point, and it is Sea Turtles and Fast Pins who are in second and third, but uh, there is a lot of fighting up in the top three or four marbles that uh, is hard to keep track. Peppers is in the lead now, being followed by Big Dogs, who takes first place there, and Pink Pearl is in sec or third place. Peppers is trying to... Uh, climb the tables even though he can't win he still would like to get some more points big dogs has a little slip up there allowing peppers to get a huge lead we are in the final lap big dogs and pink pearl as well as arrow frog are all up safely in the top half of the field it's not looking like they're going to be eliminated in this qualifying night rivers mimonas and gold piston are the ones that are looking like are going to be eliminated at this point unless they can do something to get out of the elimination zone not looking like it's going to happen though. Peppers, Pink Pearl, Big Dog, Fast Pins, Arrow Frog, and Sea Turtles will be advancing to the next qualifying. Night Rivers, Milanos, and Gold Piston will be eliminated in Q2. Pink Pearl, Big Dogs, and Arrow Frog are the three marbles that are still able to take the overall championship that have survived the two qualifyings. We'll have to see how they finish in this last qualifying. <laughs> And we're off for the final qualifying of this season. And this Arrow Frog out to the lead with Pink Pearl and Big Dogs coming in close behind. They all want to get as close as possible to that pole position. But uh, and now it is go uh, 
Fast Q pins in second, but they are overtaken by big dogs there. Arrow Frog is sits in third place in the overall standings. He really wants to take the overall win, and he's making it as easy as possible for him to do that in this final race. Sea Turtle's coming in at second. He sits in ninth place with only 30 points in the overall standings. Uh, so it is surprising to see him in this qualifying. He uh, is not necessarily a bad racer just has had a terrible season in this season he did uh, get in third place overall last season so we'll have to see how he does in this qualifying he has overtaken uh, arrow frog there with pink pearl now coming in at third place trying to take second from arrow frog here big dogs is in fourth being pressured by peppers and then there's fast coupons trailing behind in sixth place he has made it to another final qualifying coming in at sixth place uh, like he did in last qualifying but he uh, He's not doing very well in this Q4 at this point. Sea Turtles has gained a huge lead at this point with uh, Pink Pearl and Arrow Frog coming up from behind as well as Big Dogs. Pink Pearl wants to try to come up and take the pole position. Will she be able to take the overall win? And, uh, and will she win the final race like she did last season? We'll have to wait and see. But at this point, we are in the final lap. She is looking like she's going to finish in second unless Sea Turtles does some a detrimental mistake that will allow her to catch back up. Arrow Frog is in third place. Fast Coupins is in fourth. Big Dogs and Peppers are down in fifth and sixth. And Sea Turtles is looking like he's going to be the champion of this qualifying and he will get the pole position. See, uh, Pink Pro will be getting second. Arrow Frog in third. Fast Coupins will come in at fourth. Peppers in fifth. And Big Dogs will be sitting in sixth on the starting grid. A very interesting starting grid for this race. Loose Wheel coming in at 11th place in the starting grid and pink pearl arrow frog and big dogs coming up in the top six these three marbles are going to have the most likely chance of taking the overall championship from loose wheel at this point this track shows a lot of potential for these marbles to really show how good they are at racing as we saw a lot of overtakes in today's qualifying here are the full results for this qualifying sea turtles coming in at first pink pearl in second Arrow Frog in third, Fast Two Pins in fourth, and Peppers will round off your top five. Black Pirates and Loose Wheel down in 10th and 11th. They're going to have a very hard time. They want to take this championship. Pink Pearl starting in second. Will she be able to take her second championship win? This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12 month subscription. Seven races have all led up to this. Five marbles are in contention for the overall championship. Loose Will sits atop of the standings, but he qualified in 11th, which leaves the door wide open for the championship to be taken. Hi everybody, I'm Jeremiah, and welcome to the Interlagos Grand Prix for the final race of the Marble Circuits 2022. In today's race, we're going to be having the championship decider to see which marble will be able to take the overall championship crown in this season. With the first place in the standings being Loose Wheel, with uh, Big Dogs in second, Arrow Frog is in third place. In order for Big Dogs to take the overall championship, Loose Wheel needs to be finished in fourth place and big dogs has to be in first place if loose wheel finishes in third place big dogs also has to have the fastest lap and then if arrow frog wants to take the overall championship loose wheel has to finish in sixth also black pirates and pink pearl are also mathematically possible to take the overall championship but then loose wheel has to finish in eighth place as we take a look at the results from the qualifying a few days ago. Sea Turtles getting the pole position. Pink Pearl and Arrow Frog are down there in second and third as well. These two marbles want to take the overall championship as well as Big Dogs and Black Pirates coming in uh, later in the starting gate. And then there's Loose Wheel down in 11th. Sparky ending up in 12th. Guessing from the positions on the starting grid, the most likely marble to take the championship at this point is Arrow Frog, who sits in third place. He's definitely far enough ahead from Loose Wheel to be able to take the overall championship. And now, 
for the final race of the Marble Circus 2022. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys. And it is Sea Turtles in the lead being followed by Pink Pearl who takes the lead right at the beginning of the race. And it is Peppers in third place, but now it is Knight Rivers who has taken first place and he is fighting with Pink Pearl who has now taken it back. And now the top three marbles have separated themselves from the rest of the field as we get going in the first lap of 19 today for the final race of the Marble Circuits 2022. It is Arrow Frog in third place trying to come up and take over Knight Rivers and Pink Pearl. We're up in second and first. Try to get as many points as possible because he can't take the overall championship. Where is Loose Wheel? He is down in 10th. Big Dogs is in 8th. Black Pirates is in 6th. Gold Piston has gotten the fastest lap with a time of 26.188. We'll have to see if anyone else can take it. Especially for some of these marbles who can take the overall championship like Arrow Frog, Black Pirates, and uh, Pink Pearl. Pink Pearl, though is having a tremendous lead at this point, facing some pressure from Night Rivers, a familiar sight in this season. Night Rivers is very uh, upset that he can't take the overall championship. He at least wants to get up there, possibly even in the top three. And uh, he has taken first place from Pink Pearl there as we go through these turns. We are already in lap three, and it is Arrow Frog trying to catch up to Pink Pearl and Night River still. Loose Wheel is still down in 11th place. Arrow Frog takes second place from Pink Pearl there. And now Knight Rivers gets the fastest lap with a time of 25.073. Uh, we'll see. Uh, he is in first place though, so that is not surprising. Arrow Frog is now trying to come up and take it from uh, Knight Rivers, but he has a little slowdown there. And then he has a counter draft from uh, Pink Pearl there. Now allowing him to come up and catch up to Knight Rivers there. He's coming up by Storm. And he's drafting at Night Rivers. Up the booster they go. Still no passes. And now Black Pirates is in third place. An amazing uh, comeback for Black Pirates. And he is coming up. And now he takes first and second place from Big or Arrow Frog and Night Rivers. He is in first place. Can he take a win in this season? He has had a tremendous comeback in this season. Will he be able to come and take the overall victory? We'll have to wait and see. But it is Arrow Frog who is in second place. Black Pirates gets the fastest lap there. Not surprising. The top three marbles at this point are able to take the overall championship. Then there's Knight Rivers and then Big Dogs who sits in second in the overall standings. And Loose Wheel is climbing up the tables. He is in seventh. That has kicked out Pink Pearl and Black Pirates from taking over the overall championship unless he falls back down to eighth place. Arrow Frog and Big Dogs, though, still can't take the overall championship if Loose Wheel finishes in this spot. The split between Black Pirates and Arrow Frog is 2.1 second, and there is rain in the forecast in a couple minutes. That'll definitely uh, be some interesting factors that these marbles will have to play with in a couple minutes in the end of this race. You can see the thunder already starting to come as the, these marbles are getting ready to embrace the drenching. Arrow Frog. Still in first place, and Big Dogs is fighting with Pink Pearl for second place. He did have it momentarily, but then Pink Pearl took it right back. And now they're coming up by Storm, and they take first place from Arrow Frog, and now Pink Pearl is in the lead. Big Dogs is in second, or third, trying to come up and take second from Arrow Frog, and then it is Gold Piston in fifth place. Black Pirates, though, is still very far ahead off the screen for most of the time the rain is coming so he's trying to make it as far ahead as possible before he gets slowed down by the rain arrow frog has a little bump off the wall there not what he wanted but at least he doesn't lose any ground he does lose some ground off of pink pearl but no places the split between loose wheel and night rivers is only two seconds which is uh pretty far for the middle of the pack right rivers is trying to stay ahead of Loose Wheel, who is coming up to 6th place now. And uh, he is climbing up the tables. All these top marbles are very worried at this point, seeing Loose Wheel climbing up the tables. He has already gained a good 5 or 6 places. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye on him. And the rainstorm is coming. It is getting darker outside as we about to get into the rain. Black Pirates is still in the lead by a huge margin. And then Pink Pearl and then Big Dogs top three marbles are very separated at this point as Big Dogs is going up the booster there and now Loose Wheel is in fourth place. If Loose Wheel makes it um, one more place, Big Dogs has to get first place and the fastest lap 
in order to win the overall championship. Loose Wheel is coming in for the overall championship contention. He is doing a tremendous job at this point. We have uh, seven laps to go, and then Loose Wheel will be champion if he can get one more place. And the marble that is defending this place is Big Dogs, the marble that needs to be in first with the fast slap if he wants to be able to beat uh, Loose Wheel, who is, will be in third place if he takes it over. Black Pirates knows nothing of Loose Wheel coming in at fourth place. He still thinks he is doing a tremendous job as well as for Pink Pearl as we go through this uh, starting line for the start of the 13th lap, and it is starting to rain. Loose Wheel has passed Big Dogs. Loose Wheel now can win the overall championship if he finishes in this spot in the overall uh, finish in this race. What will these other marbles do to get him to go down farther in the standings? The split between Black Pirates and Pink Pearl is about a minute and, uh, not a minute, a second. Loose Wheel coming up over Pink Pearl. Pink Pearl does not like what she's seeing. Loose Wheel being in third place. She's definitely in no position to beat him in this circumstance. Looks like the rain has not yet gotten here, but it, uh, it definitely is getting darker outside and it's getting a little cooler as well for some of these marbles. Black Pirate is very far ahead from Pink Pearl. And Loose Wheel comes up and takes second place from Pink Pearl there. Loose Wheel has solidified his over championship winning unless uh, some of the, all of these other marbles come and take it back like that right there. Pink Pearl takes it right back. Big Dogs needs to get up in first place with the fastest lap. He can take the overall championship if Loose Wheel finishes in third place. So he really needs to come and catch up at this point. And now it is starting to rain. Loose Wheel takes first place for, or second place from Pink Pearl there. And now Black Pirates is getting slowed by the rain. As we go up the booster, Loose Wheel is coming up and trying to pass a Black Pirates for first place. Black Pirates is uh, trying to hold his ground. Loose Wheel is being very aggressive today. And uh, Black Pirates still has to try to stay and get his first win of the season. If he can, he can take the win, that will be enough for him at this point because he cannot win the overall championship with Loose Wheel coming in at second place. Big Dogs and Pink Pearl trying to come up and take over Loose Wheel. You can see Black Pirates having some trouble with the water. He is skidding, and Loose Wheel takes first place from Black Pirates. An amazing comeback by Loose Wheel, starting in 11th place. He is now in first place, and he has solidified his overall championship win. He needs to just stay in the top three, and he'll win the overall championship. Big Dogs has taken second place. He does not want that to happen. He is trying all he can to get in first place and push Loose Wheel into third place. And it looks like Peppers has hit Mamonas off the track. We'll have to see if he gets any penalties after this. We are in the second to last lap. Loose Wheel is still in first place. Looks like Peppers will be getting a punishment of negative two positions. So the position that he will finish will be two more down than he what he actually finished. And now Loose Wheel is coming and starting the final lap with uh, Big Dogs in second. Black Pirates is in third place. Loose Wheel pretty much has won the championship at this point unless he has some terrible mistake where he falls down to fourth place and now we're going to have an overlapping situation big dogs has taken first place there and now sea turtles is slowing him down there as sea turtles is in last place besides mamonas and he uh, has overlapped sea turtles there but big dogs is in first place loose wheel is in second big dogs will be your champion but loose wheel will be your overall championship winner of the Marble Circuits 2022. What an amazing accomplishment for Loose Wheel coming in at second. Big Dogs tried all he can to take the overall championship if Loose Wheel had finished just one or two places lower. Big Dogs might have had a chance, but it is Loose Wheel who will be the overall championship decider. Pepper's coming in at ninth, but his punishment will make him have to finish in 11th because of the aggressiveness that he had on the track, pushing Mamonas off the track. Loose Wheel, you're champion of the Marble Circuit. Yeah, let's go, let's go, yeah. You can hear Loose Wheel and his crew screaming for joy 
as they have won the overall championship, the second team in history to win the overall championship after Pink Pearl. Here's the overall race result. Big Dogs finishing in first place. Bluesville coming in at second. Pink Pearl in third. Black Pirates comes in at fourth. And Arrow Frog finished in fifth. All these top marbles that were in contention finished in the top spot. They all tried their hardest, but Loose Wheel ultimately took the overall win. Black Pirates getting the fastest lap. Big Dog's wishing he had the fastest lap, but that didn't happen. Black Pirates was able to take that. Now let's take a look at the replays. The final replays of the season to see how Loose Wheel was managed to take a comeback starting in 11th place, getting all the way to first and then to second after Big Dogs took it from him. Let's take a look at these uh, starting grid, see how these marbles did. Uh, there was a lot of jostling in the middle of the pack that uh, switched a lot of the places up in the marbles. And then Loose Wheel ended up starting in last place after this first turn. And he had ways to go to get up in second place, which is an incredible accomplishment for him. You can see Knight Rivers coming up and taking first place there. He was a big contender in the actual race for a lot of the first half of the race and then he started falling down as some of the marbles that can take the overall championship started to come up and push him down the order. You can see Knight Rivers is about to come and overtake uh, Arrow Frog there. No, it's actually Black Pirates. That was a great move by Black Pirates there, taking two places, coming up all the way to first place. And he held first place for a good portion of the race you know, by a large margin as well. also see uh, some marbles jostling around here in this corner but loose wheels nowhere to be seen there he is down in looks like probably fifth place there and here he comes taking two places there right in the middle of arrow frog and night rivers amazing move by by uh, loose wheel he's definitely become an amazing racer in this season you can also see him coming over and Racing for the line on that lap with Pink Pearl. Uh, I'm not sure who made it there, but it looked like Loose Wheel is the one who was able to come out on top after that lap. And here's the point where Loose Wheel come and took first place from Black Pirates. An amazing move. Let's take a look at how, uh, wow, Pepper's hitting Mamonas off of the track. Definitely aggression on the track. And now for the full championship standing. Congratulations to Loose Wheel for getting first place. Big Dogs comes in at second, and Pink Pearl gets third place. What an amazing finish for to this season. Loose Wheel coming up only three points ahead of Big Dogs. You can see if uh, Loose Wheel had gotten only one place lower, they would have been tied. And uh, that's why Big Dogs needed the fastest lap. But Loose Wheel came in second, and he took the overall championship. Definitely an amazing comeback story for Loose Wheel. see all the members of the crew chiefs uh, cheering for all these marbles including Loose Wheel who took the overall championship. Congratulations to Big Dogs for taking this race win. Loose Wheel coming in at second, Pink Pearl coming in at third place. Everybody wants to be Loose Wheel today as he has won the overall championship. The Loose Wheel fans are cheering for the uh, championship decider. Big Dogs and Pink Pearl though definitely having something to be proud of getting the second and third podium spots. Big Pearl being a major contender in this season after winning the overall championship last season. She wasn't able to take it this season, but she still had a good run. What an amazing season. Eight amazing races, eight amazing qualifyings, and 12 amazing marbles in one champion. Our ultimate congratulations goes to Loose Wheel as we enter the final podium ceremony of this season. Congratulations to Team Loose Wheel for winning the Marble Circuits 2022. They are definitely excited for this ultimate win of this season. You can hear the fans cheering, even not of the uh, Loose Wheel fans, but all the fans are cheering for today's victory. A dream come true for Loose Wheel today, winning the overall championship after finishing in dead last in Season 1. A definite comeback for Loose Wheel. Oh, as we congratulate him for the final time here on Marble Circus 2022. Yet one more congratulations to Loose Wheel winning the overall championship. You can see the tears of joy in his eyes, hugging his comrades, 
at this uh, amazing moment in his life, winning the overall championship of the Marvel Circus 22. An ultimate congratulations to him. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting the Marble Circuits 2022. And stay tuned for the next installment here on Rebecca's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, signing off. And until next time, this has been Rebecca's Marble Runs. Good day, everyone.